magical retransmission system runs at an impressive 80 meg. Meg? M-E-G. An age evanescing grip. Hello YouTubers and fellow Square Enix fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and today we're doing our brand new Let's Play Blood Bowl 2. So, um, I've been playing a lot of Warhammer games lately, obviously this is one of them. Uh, completely new to this game, well not completely new, I did watch some, uh, some videos, some tutorials, etc. I did play a little bit, like a tiny bit of Blood Bowl 1 on the PSP back in the day, but that's about it. So I'm actually pretty new in this game, so we're gonna have to learn from scratch. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Also guys, let me know if I need to increase my volume a little bit, because I've been switching in and out from uh, different streaming softwares, because I'm playing some old games and OBS doesn't like me to, I mean Streamlabs doesn't like me to stream in those old games for some reason. So sometimes I switch between OBS and Streamlabs, and then, yeah, the volume changes, so just let me know if it's a little low. Alright, so we're just gonna play offline for now. And then um, playing a league, friendly matches, challenges. Let's go with a campaign. That's what Welcome I Welcome to Cabal Vision HD. I'm Jim Johnson, and I'm immortal. Over to my right here is my good friend Bob Bifford. Hi there! You've made a good choice. You're about to play the greatest game in the world! Blood Bowl. Alright, so I'm gonna try and make it so that whenever these guys talk, I'm gonna try and be silent. Well, the blocking dice are warmed up and ready to be rolled. Let's get this show on the pitch! campaign let's jump into it new campaign sure good evening to all you cabal vision viewers out there in the old world and beyond i hope your crystal ball is fully charged and if not find yourselves a wizard and chain him to it because the 2513 season promises to be one hell of a show doesn't it bob it sure does oh and iron jim Iron what, Bob? Your shirt? Chains, Jim. Iron chains for chaining up your wizard. Iron is best. It's harder to enchant than steel or silver. Oh, and don't forget to break their fingers as well. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Bob. Yes, fascinating. And we may come back to that later. In the meantime, all you sports fans should keep it here on brand new Cabal Vision HD. But what about all you new viewers who are joining us for the first time? How would you explain a game, a blood bowl, to someone who hasn't experienced the joy and delight of it before, Bob. Firstly, I'd say, under what toilet in the realm of chaos have you been hiding? Then I'd begrudgingly explain that blood bowl is a visceral, violent sport where two teams of players must get an inflated pig bladder or ball across a large field into the opponent's end zone by any means necessary to score a touchdown. The catch? There's only one ball, 
and the opposing team is trying to do exactly the same thing. A match lasts for two halves of eight turns. The team with the most touchdowns wins. Very nicely summed up, Bob. So, what about the teams? It promises to be an interesting season, especially for the Reichland Reavers. Let's remind ourselves by taking a quick look what happened in their final game last year. I love this commentary, man. It's like uh, some some kind of dry jokes, but it's kind of funny that they're like commentators and just commentating on what's ever going to happen, I guess. Switching to cheerleader TV. Did you know Zip was not This is the final button. game of last season. The Reavers versus the Gouged Eye. Just look at those human lumps. Why ain't they moving? A frozen spell. Could they not just let it all go? Look at player 16, Josh Kirscher. He just stands there and lets that block orc smack him right in the kisser. Useless git. They don't seem very sprightly in that troll attack either, do they, Bob? I know. No wonder this team hasn't won anything in 20 games. There's only so many double skulls rolls you can take before fans start claiming that's a load of steaming bull. I don't know how <laughs> that was the Reavers' last public appearance, summing up 10 seasons of decline. Why haven't they been fired yet, Jim? That's what I can't understand. The word is, Bob, that J.J. Griswell Jr. hasn't got the cash to replace them. <laughs> yeah? Oh, Griswell was once said to be even richer than you, Jim. He's now down to his last few pennies after paying the likes of Griff Oberwald his massive wage for several decades. I guess he'll just have to put up with using last season's dregs. Anyway, enough yapping. Let's see how they do in this preseason match. Alright, you've just been appointed to head legendary Reckland Reavers. Your season begins with an off-season friendly match against the Siegfried of Saints. Nothing can stop us, animals. Club story begins with the debut of the renowned scholar action group of minstrels. Their talented young man quickly gained an unparalleled reputation, particularly among the young ladies of the old world. To everyone's surprise, at the height of their fame, the group decided to abandon everything in order to take up the Blood Bowl. After all, nothing can stop us. They are known as one of the worst teams ever to have emerged. But they're still popular with the fair sex. Alright. Back. Then we got the Reichland Reavers. Level 1, leak not registered, registered. All, got be, all gold beyond 150 gay gold pieces counts for the team value. Alright, so that's probably when they have a high team value. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Um, known during the first few years as the Altdorf Acolytes, this team quickly established a reputation for great skill and ability as the original owner, D.D. Griswell Sr., poached and bought the best players throughout the Western lands. This policy of marrying... Awesome buying powers with the best money can buy has seen the Reavers in good stead in the century since the team was first created. Today, the Reavers are still one of the, best, the finest all-rounder teams and they are only take part in championships with a single mining goal, victory. Alright, uh, let's go I guess. Match. Well, let's see how the Reavers get on. It's their first match, under the leadership of the new coach in a preseason friendly. Never use the word friendly in connection with Blood Bowl, Jim. You'll end up getting sued for false advertising. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. We've got an interesting match ahead of us. One where the sides are not evenly matched. Bob's quite excited, aren't you, Bob? Thrilled, more like you. <laughs> I love these uneven games. There's always so much blood. All right, we get to see our entire team. Regular Reavers. Look at all the uh, guys in the back. Awesome. 
There's some humans, there's the ogres. Some dwarves. There's some very tiny people. Are those halflings? I know they're just humans standing on the lowest floor, I suppose. And I see elves, I think, with some mohawk. Flip a coin. Your opponent is choosing This game features a human team. They're adaptable and tasty, but they can't always specialize to the degree. Movement allowance. I am Helmet Swimmer, former coach of the Reaver, and I will assist you during your initiation. To give you a little help, I use my connections, and your first matches will follow simplified rules. Blood Bounce is a strategic sport, and all starts with good po uh, positioning. These players are the movement allowance and characteristics, which indicate the number of squares they have to move. Okay, so this is scrolling. I can change my camera a bit. Uh, each turn. Okay, select a player with left click. Is that the ogre. Oh no, it can't be. In the Reaver's dugout, isn't that the legendary ex-coach Helmut Zwimmer? Sure is, Jim. Where's my dugout? Know, as a favor to JJ, Zwimmer's come out of retirement to mentor the new coach for the first few games. And what about that incident that forced him to leave in the first place? What? That tabloid sting in 04, involving a pair of halflings, jam, and a confused hippogriff? Oh, that was nothing. Nothing was proven. Even in retirement, Helmets continued to be a loyal ally of the Reavers. Well, he's certainly experienced, Bob. The new head coach should listen to his advice. When you click on the empty square, the player carries out a move action, allowing him to move as many squares as a characteristic. Select an empty square and press left click to move there. All players can also move one or two additional squares to squares with dice. It's called going for it. Don't overdo it because your players can fall. Right, let's see. To deselect a player or cancel the declaration of action, press right click. All right. Easy enough. Each turn, each of your players can carry out an action. All right. Let's move the camera. Use the arrows key. Yeah, I did that. All right. Let's see. You pick arrows as thrower. Thrower. Okay, you pick up a ball then. Well done. They have the ball now. Picked up the ball. Now your object is carried to the opposition end zone. You can try to pass the ball. Okay. Uh, no. I don't want to yet. This guy. The aim of the blocks to bring the opponent to a sudden stop. It is impossible to block a player with that has moved or has stu stood up. Alright. I love the sound when they smack them, it's like slow motion and just start flying. Uppercut. Alright, um. So maybe I should. Not really good at this, so. Just going by, just winging it, really. Let's try to close, uh, close a little bit. Go here. You go there. And then you go here. Can I still throw it? Okay, so the moment I deselected it, I'm no longer allowed to throw. And throw. It's not the opposing team to play, as you can see, Blood Bowl's a turn-based game. And that's a game. holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Each team plays one after another. Turn to Raglan Reavers. Smack this dude. Beat it. You're in my way. Were dice rolls, maybe because it's the they zag and they should have seen. 
Find Nuffle. You're not much good at a dart. If you have difficult passing behind your opponent's defense line, do not hesitate to block in order to knock them down. Whenever a player leaves a tackle zone, but collects square around opponents and he attempts a dart. As you can see, the dart is a risky action and does not always succeed. Yeah, he just got whoops. Get wrecked, boy. Oops, oops. Here. Throw it. A quick pass here should do nicely. Yep. A handoff followed by a great pass. A classic combination. Uh, looks good. You only make one pass per turn. That's okay. I can't see Reaver star player and Captain Griff Oberwald on the field, Jim. And where's the mighty Zug? Why is he not ripping Lyman's heads off our shoulders? Huh? I thought the violence quota was severely down. Why are they not here? Haven't you heard, Bob? Ever since his men's fragrance, Gruff by Griff, flopped, he hasn't been seen all off-season. Rumor has it his investors are not happy and want their money back. I tried some of that scent. What was he thinking? I'm an ogre, and even I couldn't stand the smell. I'd rather take a drag from a goblin's crotch than wear that. What about Zug? Why isn't he here? Zug's so disgusted with the Reaver's performance of late. But if a Reichland legend like Helmut Zwimmer is back, well, you never know. I don't like it, Jim. The whole point of watching the Reavers is the glorious devastation and maiming left in Zug's wake. Ah, I love a good maiming me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's my thrower, so just. So, throw him here. The bliss must be declared. Okay. Oh, that was a ball carrier. Whoops. No. Don't pass it. Going for it. Because it's a tutorial, they disabled the, uh... Oh, God, I should have announced the blitz beforehand. Uh, safety in numbers! Okay, well... I got this guy as well. I'll just blitz him. Let's blitz him, just for fun. Good night. Turn. Pressing enter, but that doesn't work. Okay, he knocked out one of my dudes. They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, should be good. This tactic is worse. Look, I mean, characters are spread all over the place. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. Touchdown, can't I? I can. That's a lot of dodges, though. Nope, stop. Get him out of the way. Let's go for it. The ball is in the end zone, and according to Knuckles' sacred text, we have a touchdown! Oh, do you An extremely fast first touchdown. The other team must wake up! Nice that was a here. short game. Looks like oh, they sink the chicken down. The Reavers win by default. That's the only game they win all season. I won't be surprised. Seafield Saints have conceded the match. In this situation, the opponent... something. They lost. Well, would you look at that? The Reavers won! Yeah, but the Saints whipped out early. Hold on, Bob. 
I have shocking news. JJ has fired the whole Reaver squad. Not that shocking, Jim. Griswold's having a clear out before the 25-13 season gets underway. One default win against no hopers like the Saints ain't gonna cut it. He should have done it sooner. So if the whole squad's been sacked, where's this new coach going to find his team, Bob? JJ's a cunning old devil, Jim. My contacts say he can get a whole squad of fresh-faced wannabe new players from the rejects found on that reality Cabal Vision show, Reichland Ain't Got Talent. It sounds like a risky strategy to me, Bob. Risky, Jim? Well, I've seen snotlings come up with more competent plans. It's time to recruit a new team and sign with the sponsor. Access your team management. Okay, so they just fired the whole team. Why? <laughs> My player. You're able to recruit a team to restore the image of Ragland Reavers. The team is made up at least 11 players. Trying to build a balance group, alright? Team Treasury top right allows you to build your squad. Well, we got a lot of money. Um. Let's see. Where are those? Transfers? Purchase? Alright, um. Blitzers. Let's see, lineman. Movement, 8, no, 6. Strength, 3. Agility, 3. Uh, armor value, 8. Player is the essential cog of any team. Versatile, he can carry out all actions, but excels in none. Catcher. This player is outstanding when it comes to getting a position and catching long passes. Alright, let's buy one of these dudes. Um, What are we going to name them? Let's uh, go with Gunther or Shipka. Why not? Why not, right? And he's a old grizzled veteran, so do we have a hat that looks a bit like him? Oh, he has a bad eye patch, doesn't he? I completely forgot, actually. <laughs> Uh, at number two, yeah, you're, from now on, you're gun for ship, sure. Why? And a thrower. I guess we need a thrower as well. So, what shall we call our thrower? Let's go with. Because he's a thrower, so let's go with. Oh, Willem Fletcher. See who catches on what these names are. Started at two, let's head three, that's the pirate dude. Okay, yeah, you look like a Willem Fletcher, sure. Go for it. So we got one catcher, one thrower. Let's get a blitzer. Let's go with Wolfgang. Blitzer's got the block. So this mobile and offensive player makes him an ideal target for blitz section. He shines in ball recovery. That's pretty good. Wait. Remove. Remove. Here we go. Let's go with. Boris, Boris von Raukov. He looks like a Boris. Let's 
by, a, by another blitzer. Okay, let's make this guy Ramon Black. Yeah, let's go with this one. Bye. So we got. Oh, thought we had four blitzers. Okay, then this one. Once I know, once I put in this one, you guys should be able to know what I'm, which uh, names I'm using. This one is Morgan. anyone else yeah that one good enough bye so we got four blitzers a thrower a catcher do we want an ogre big guy's the most robust blood bowl player he's a hard hitter and contracts to the center of the pitch but he always has a weakness which makes him unreliable that's for me telling me like nope. How many players do we have? We have six and we need eleven, so we've got a few linemen. Alright, and uh, this guy I don't actually know is first name, so... Shepard. That's actually the uh, the captain of the uh, Garrowberg Great Swords. Yeah. Let's buy another lineman. How you spell it? Yeah, this guy. <coughs> Bye. Can't buy anything else. I would like to buy these, but I don't think I can for some reason. How do I buy them? Because I know rerolls are kind of important in this game, but uh. It's like it's not doing it, so I guess I'll just have to spend more money. And how many? These are eleven, right? So we got eight. We got four blitzers. Got a thrower, a catcher. We got two linemen so far. only one name for an ogre, that's Urblop. Uh, Urblop Rock God. There we go. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this one. Urblop. Oh, you're in the team. You got Blitz, can I buy more Blitzers? Four out of four, so it'd be kind of strange if I could make him Sven Carlson.
Team cannot recruit. Okay, yeah. Should have told me that from the start. We got Sven Carlson. Welcome aboard. And I guess I'll buy another whatever this is. Lineman. How much are they? It's 50k. That leaves me with 80k bonus. I, I guess I'll go with that. How much are these? 70? 70. So if I remove last item. I go, what's the difference? They got more movement. 6338. 6338. 6338. So the catcher has less strength. So the thrower is just as good as the lineman. So I'm going to buy another thrower. This one was Sven. There we go. And then we got two throwers, four blitzers, one ogre. Uh, I don't want to go with another catcher, actually. So let's go with another lineman. And this will be Lufer. I got more names, so uh, Lufer Flame Strike, which will be the wizard. Since he's a wizard, he's gonna be one of the old dudes. There we go. That looks like Lufer. Fine. That's it then. We got 60k left. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna save some money. You've got 11 units, so. How's this new coach doing so far, Bob? Well, he managed to put some names in the roster so far, Jim. I wouldn't call them contenders for the Chaos Cup just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Given the current situation of the team, no serious sponsors will sign with us. Parstown X, the third, has contacted us. It may be our only chance. All right. Club. The stadium is like a second home for a team. We got Albor Holdball, which is level four. Didn't do, any, didn't do anything for it. Just got it. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, sponsors. The team has signed no contract. Okay, so I can select what kind of cheerleaders I want. Human, orc, or dwarf. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Maybe orc cheerleaders. Let's go with orc cheerleaders. That will be fun. Team has signed no contract. All right, let's sign something. Only got Parstown. Par par Parstown. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But. Makers for the products for belt polishers. Ironically, it's also the name that Blood Bowl aficionados give to the team who sign with them. Um, that sounds like Skaven to me, to be honest. Deal's done. Contract signed. The Reichlin Reavers have a sponsor. I only hope they read the small print, Bob. I remember I once signed a contract to get eternal life. It sounded so simple. But the whole craving blood, dread vampire curse thing, well, that wasn't in 12 point Helvetica, I can tell you. Now that the team has signed its contract, we can start a qualifying match. Return to the lobby page by clicking on the back button. All right. They're still way ahead of us in terms of points. But, uh, ah, welcome back, sports fans. And who'd have thought we'd be covering this game, Bob? I'm as excited as a snotling in a pump wagon, Jim. If the rumors are true, the Reavers have finally got a sponsor. Well, subject to contract negotiations. That's true, Bob. It's not set in stone yet. But the newly reformed NAF are certainly putting pressure on them to get funding. Gone are the days when any Targ, Dieter, or Harbinger can turn up with a team of nobodies. With Cabal Vision HD comes money. And so you need the gold to get in. Even a franchise with as much history as Reichland. So, who have they got? An outfit called Parstown X3. Never heard of them. They manufacture bell polishing cream. They're not big corporate players, Jim. That's a sponsor the Reavers wouldn't even have considered in their heyday. But beggars can't be choosers. Did 
to know, contrary to popular belief, despite frequent and very persistent rumors, the, renew the revolutionary new Astrogranite playing surface is definitely not made from the bones of the Peter Blood Bowl trophy finalist. Honest? Well, that's what they told us. <laughs> Astrogranite. Good evening from Cabal Vision HD. Ah, orcs and humans. What a classic matchup. You know, if I was creating a board game version of Blood Bowl, then it'd be orcs and humans I'd put in the box. Just saying. Yeah, and that's what the original Blood Bowl game was, Humans for the Orcs. I mean, that's a classic. There's so many games like Warcraft and, I don't know, so many orcs and goblins and versus humans. It's your typical setup. It's usually later when they involve elves and dwarves and other creatures, dark elves and whatever, fishmen, lizardmen. They don't seem to have a big guy. They got a few big orcs, but none, uh, no super big orc, no uh, war chief or something. We got black go black orcs, I believe. Or they were big ones. Orcs are a hard team to fight. They're good in a scrap. So beat them at their own game, or focus on the ball. Alright. The recruits have style, but we'll see what they're capable of against an orc team. This game highlights the block, an essential aspect of Blood Bowl. As you can see, each of your players has a strength characteristic. It allows an advantage to be gained over an opponent in a block action. Alright, alright. This guy is the thrower, so pick it up. Again. Good. Beat it. Pass by William Fletcher. That ball moved faster than a snuttling with the runs. Alright. Um, go here. And you go. Hmm. Probably should have put him there. I'm creating a gap for this guy, I know, but. Let's see how smart his AI is. Yo, first law, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm now playing Blood Bowl, which is also a Warhammer universe. But, um, yeah, American football. Alright, time to stump some of these. Oh, I got dice now, alright. Didn't know we already implemented the dice, but that's not good. Well, these guys can't take us yet. That, that wouldn't have happened in my day, Joe. At least he's stunned, so that's a bonus for me, I guess. Stump this guy first. That's quite a mismatch, Bob. I know. Really? That weedy fella's gonna get splatted. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited, Jim. Uh, let's stay. That's good, I'll take it. Really? Alright, uh, I got a blitz. This guy? Okay, let's go for it. No. A oh, pretty no. risky action, Bob. Oh, actually, it's turned out okay. So, I thought these guys were I wasn't expecting it. And by the looks of things, neither were they. Yeah, I wasn't either. Oh, yeah. Go back in the line. Right, let's end the turn. I had two red dice. There's no way I should have won that. So let's just go there. Let me get this guy up. Yeah, let's go. For Unity it. is strength. So, um, follow, sure. This player, the attacker, smells weakness. 
big guy coming through. Two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> it can really hurt. Stay. Okay, let's go with this because I got blocked, so he's down. Um, follow. Down he goes. What am I doing? Why did I do? Wait. That's that's weird. All right. Um. No. Don't. Nope. Stop passing. Okay, kick this guy that in the gut. That is about to get punched above and below the belt yeah. well, at the same time. Uh, follow sure. <laughs> block dies is red. A player strikes a block. An opponent which is higher strength than the opponent choose to uh, uh, choose from amongst the dice. Okay. That's it! Get in their face! Alright, not sure if I'm doing okay. I'm moving forward. The arrow results in a breach to be open in the opposition's defense. You can also try to push an opponent off the pitch so that the public takes care of him. <laughs> That's so cool. Player involved in a block gains a plus one bonus in strength for each unmarked teammate in contact mm. with the opponent. Yeah, smells like a good old fashioned fight! Supplies in both attack and defense, alright? They're leaving me open. I can just run home. What are these guys doing? I got a lot of units that are just laying on the floor right now. You gotta get them up, man. One. Two. Three. I should probably say something meaningful Both to all down. our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is... Wait, it's black. <laughs> Bell Policy Creep. It's a strange choice of sponsorship. <laughs> I'll give you that. The Orchidas, the Birdies, Bank of Altdorf, even Bloodweiser. None of the big corporations were interested. JJ took the only offer. But now they've got financial backing, they can qualify for the new NAF. So here we are. Let's see how they do. Where's my catcher? Lineman. So these guys got six moves on. This guy's got seven. Can I just run away from you? Nope. He's blocking me right now. So, um, well, let's decimate this guy. The goblin. player's fist is approximately the same size as his entire opponent. Okay, just move you guys out of the way. Um, we'll follow up, sure. The domino effect in action. Follow up. One white, one. Let's push him out of the way. And let's stay. He got himself out of a dangerous situation. Go for it. This guy here. There we go. And 
Two for the goblin, sure. Count those teeth, Jim. They'll have to pick up most of them off the ground in a few seconds time. And then stay. He went flying. Right. Back to red dice, no thanks. One white dice, plus one strength. Um I'll just try and go for it, I guess. Go. Miss. And those players are very close. Right. Smells like a fight is about to happen. I can do this one. Or just this one. Stay. Sure. Goodbye, Mr. Ork. Hey. stunt, sweet. Got a blitz. That's a plus one. I didn't know I still had a blitz apparently. Nope, that's not good. Uh, that's a plus one. That's a plus two. Let's go. Let's do that. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. There. Stay in line. Uh, okay, you can punch that guy. That guy's free to go. He might go after my ball. Mm. How much movement? Four. Black Orc is not gonna catch up. This guy has six, so one. Is it like one, two, or is it one, two, three? Let's see. That's it! Get in their face! So diagonal Remember, one. you need balls to score. I need him to get <laughs> away. I'm gonna use blitz on my ogre. This guy's knocked out. So. I don't think he can attack. Oh yeah, that one. He can just push me. That's good. Push me this. Oh no. Good right. call. Intimidation is the key. It was one of my strengths when I was still playing. Right, can we punish this little goblin? This guy, um, this guy, let's see. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? Yep, it will. That player went down like a sack of snotling unmentionables. Hmm. I can only blitz once. So if I move, I only have one dodge to go. So. Let's not do that. Let's just dash this little goblin. The, they are. the harder they punch. <laughs> the harder they punch. Yep, that's kind of true. With arms like three trucks, there was only going to be one result in that spot. Do you still have to dodge again? Okay, he still has to. Let's see, how about you? Get away with that. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Go that way. Uh, follow up, sure. A little air for the ball carrier. There you go. See ya. Look, Bob, it's a touchdown! Did you blink, Bob? No, Jim. I didn't miss the touchdown. <laughs> Look at the orcs. I'm gonna choose the dwarves next, see if I can change them in between, that's fun. Alright, uh, now I have to kick off the ball, let's just uh, kick it here. This time it's your kickoff, be careful though, the kick's not very accurate. If the ball uh, falls outside the opponent's half of the field, you can give it directly to one of his players. My goodness! So that's for advantage this pitch, and run the most left of the players usually. Normally, the fans aren't quite furious enough. It takes them at least three to four games to get them properly psychotic. Alright, so let's see. I got lost one. They lost a lot. They lost three. 
be. I think they're gonna take down my ogre. They have four men on my ogre. Probably should have switched my defense. The goblins got the ball. <laughs> this should be good for a lab. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> He's sent to heaven. Ever's been. Oh, nope. Oh, no, I'll take it. Hey, Jim, who's that Weasley get hanging around the Reavers' dugout, staring daggers at the back of the coach? You mean the goblin? The little fellow? I think that's the new assistant. Rumor has it, he used to work at Parstown. A goblin working for a Humi team? Looks like these sponsors, these bell polishers, want more than just the name on the kit, Jim. It's every coach's worst nightmare when the sponsor wants to be involved. Haha, <laughs> here's some friends. Even the playing fields of it. Let's go for it, why not? This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Follow him up. That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before a fall. Exactly. Comes before the fall, so good night. <laughs> Stunt, I'll take it. This is going to be decisive. Well, let's follow up. So he's next. <laughs> there we go. Go to sleep. Come on, guys! Together! With fists flailing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Gonna have to try and push for it. But I should have changed my... I'm not sure if I can change my uh, team. A snotling baked in a pie stands more chance than this poor kit. Actually, I'm getting hungry. Where's the nearest pie shop, Jim? Oh, he's running. That's the ball guy. Why did he just run towards my team? The players arrived to assist their See if teammate. Can get a double touchdown. Why did you do that? Whoops! Down the go! <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Okay, so this guy's the blitzer, he's also a blitzer. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Can the player force possession away from the ball holder? Follow him. Ah, the only use for a ball, in my opinion, to highlight who gets hit next. Okay, can I... Do anything. Let's create a barrier, if you will. So let's go here. Well, I guess we go double down then. Stunned, I'm not. Go for it. Get up. Get up. Okay, two, that's good. Let's push him away then. Uh, That's it. Pour some back and then pow. Follow up. Just going to 
obviously. Do I have to dodge? No, I don't. Um. I don't get it why I don't have to dodge. But are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. Just pushing him down. Okay, well. Oh, you can still keep going. What a tank! Oh, that man has gone down hard. It's the end of my turn anyway. Oh wait, that doesn't even count yet. I believe when they tackle you, it's end of turn. This guy's in pain. This could be a sack. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Coach Gast, yeah, I wanted to change that. Should have logged in. I guess. The attacker has an assist. You're pushing me upwards. You should probably oh. push me downwards. But okay. And he's leaving my ogre alone. Which I'll be able to blitz over here. Well, I should have done that from the start, I guess. Anyway, get the ogre over here. Um, let's not this guy out. They've got the advantage, but there is no sure thing in blood though. Hello. It's like getting an onion. <laughs> like getting an onion. Before you get to the good stuff. There. Okay, he's down. We'll stay here. One less annoyance to deal with. Good. Go for it. Uh, I okay. could throw the ball, I guess. Throw the pass. Take it. Now that's how you move the ball. Morgan Bernard. Uh, you know what? Let's go with double down. I don't care. And now he should be able to go for it. There we go. That's a touchdown. I'm so excited. My heart nearly Boris started beating again. <laughs> Here's the touchdown, which could protect them from a comeback. This might be the end. Two points in that, that's pretty good, I guess. I don't think they'll be able to score before the, the halftime. Despite being in the lead, this team now has to kick the ball to the losing squad. They'll want to yeah. get it back as soon as they can. What's going on with all these prior pitching stations, Jim? Now you tell me, Bob, isn't that an ogre down there in the crowd instigating it? That big fellow wearing the suit in the shades. Oh, that's one of the Kabasi brothers. You don't mess with them, Jim. Unless you want your fighters you pulled off and eaten in front of your wife. They're not the cuddly type of ogre like Morgan Thorg. You won't see them on the front of a cereal box or doing road safety commercials. <laughs> hmm, that name rings a bell. Weren't the Kabasi brothers investors in Griff's failed aftershave emporium? Griff screwed over the Kabasi brothers? No wonder he's hiding. Mm. Yeah, smells like a good old-fashioned fight. That pitch invasion, man. <laughs> There's no one left alive. All right, let's see. Um, no, that's a bit much. How about you blitz? We can do that. How strong are you? Okay, let's not go there yet. Oh dear. I hope that player has written a will, Bob. Written? Players can barely speak, Jim, let alone write. You should know. You've interviewed enough of them. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. Goblins get him out of the way. Follow up. Alright, um, we got 
two players here. Let's back this guy up. You. Go this way. The more the merrier. Good, plus one the now. attacker has an assist. Uh, that doesn't change much because we both. Dull. Very dull. One of them should hit harder next time. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take my end turn. Look, most of my units got back up or turned over at least. Yeah. Right, black orc up. Is that a black orc? Yeah, I think that's a black orc. That's another black orc. No, those are normal orcs. The black orcs are this one. This is a black orc. And we got one. Seems so. Yeah, that's a black orc. What are these then? Linemen. Right, just a push. Look at twinkle toes there. That's a GFI. For those less educated amongst you, that signifies a great feat of ineptitude. Oh, that's it. They've kicked the ball to the opponents. Now it's time to think defensively. Glue on their fingers. You can't it though. That's right. Ah! Oh, they're decimating my units now. Oh, attack a rolling a roly poly attack. Take my chances here. He'll get an assist now. Was good enough. Um, there we go. There we go. This is going to be decisive. Start flying. Hello. <laughs> They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, should be good. Back up the builder as well. Just meeting them with brute force. There's only one word to say about this, Bob. Not a word, Jim. A sound. Hello. Crutch! <laughs> I got my ogre. Uh, who are we gonna smash? This guy, I guess. I've got enough friends with me now. There's nothing better than hitting someone smaller than you, Jim. Smack! That's all the units I had, so in turn. And we went to these guys. Black Order, he's behind the Black Order, that's fine. Double down? No, just a push. 
Unity is strength. Well done, Lucy. Help a ball carrier. I got a lot of tough units here. Right turns on right lint reavers. First, get you guys back up here. We should have enough people now to uh, watch this black orc. There we go. Forward. And follow up. Black orc starts flying. He's down. Um, because two big guys is always better than one. See if I can create an opening. There we go. One now. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. That player better get up. Nothing good comes from spending any time on the ground in this game. Cut it in. Alright, ball goes all over the place. And I don't have anyone to pick it up. Wait. Well, might as well go for it. Nope, never mind. I mean, what else could I have done? Not much. It was already the end of my turn anyway. Might as well risk it. Every single word back up because I've pretty much punched all of them. Oh, I have them. He's a blitzing. You took it. That wasn't a blitz, I guess not. Well, that'll shake things up. A little goblin incoming. If the Reavers are to make a comeback, then this is the season to do it. Cabal Vision HD has got the match going public interested in Blood Bowl again. Ratings are up. My ratings are up, Jim? Oh, that's brilliant news. I can afford that Warpstone tooth now. That's like the worst happens. They're so expensive. That's right, Bob. Bigger ratings means more cash. We all know the team is Sony Brook. An influx of gold pieces into the game this season could help the Reichland Reavers out of trip. <laughs> Uh, it's crippling debt like crippling halflings, Jim? Because <laughs> that's fun. Sadly, no. Oh, well, I don't know much about it then. What I do know is that without a sponsor, the Reavers won't be able to play in the new conference system all the other teams have signed. <laughs> they better keep those bell polishers happy. <laughs> Too easy. Jeremiah Cool always said superior skills prevail. Let's 
to go around them. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. <laughs> That's a lot of dodges. How come? What do you do? What do you have to dodge? Oh, here, 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 here. Okay, I get it. I need a plus one. Mm -mm -mm. Checking if I have any other options. I can walk with him here. Just move him here. Oh, this could be fun, especially if the ball holder goes there down. Go for it. They'll need to get rid of the ball now. There's pressure on them. Really? Just a shot. All right. Hold up, man. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. End our turn. All the orcs are getting back up. <laughs> I'm just beating the orcs at their own game. Violence. Right, just a little push. I'm just gonna separate them though. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Loosen to the himself. cage. And let the pretty little dove, I mean the ball carrier, go. Yeah, that hurt. His helmet is still on. Alright, get up. And I had another unit knocked over. My ogre, if we can get up. What's this? Well, he does count as a plus one. I'll take that. I'll just punch him. Uh, follow up. We don't like orcs. Boom. There you go. It's not entirely true, though, because we got orc cheerleaders, but... Right, let's punch him down. And then we'll stay. Can we punch him? We got only plus one. Um, I can keep them for those. How about. No, that's a double dodge. How about we punch this guy? Nope. Let's punch him. This guy. Yeah, let's punch this I guy should first. probably say something uh, meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is splat. Right, anyway, uh, this. Let's get this guy. They're attacking the ball carrier, Bob. I know, Jim. I'm watching the same match as you. <laughs> uh, follow up. If they can clear off the ball from that loser. They're in with a chance of turning this match on its head. So this guy is a catcher. So close. So very close. I'm certain go nothing will go wrong before the next turn. The hell? The hell? We're at the halfway point in the game. If the losers are gonna make a move, they need to do it now. I don't think they, is that even possible to win at this point? <laughs> this works. Important thing, you gotta keep possession of the ball and not lose it. A strike back would be terrible. Uh oh. 
The little guy got it. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Let's see, uh, play style. Been doing likes to be well first. assisted in a fight. Just uh, grouping back up. Look at Twinkle Toes there. And then, um, yeah, beat them down and then take the ball and run for it. Counterattack, I guess. Oh, that's the ball carrier. Why is he going forward? They absolutely have to stop him. Or her. Whatever. A good defensive block. Aim for the ball carrier. Take them down. All right, now we got the ball. Can we run? No. Okay, that's okay. Let's get my units up here, though. <laughs> Fair fight can be so overrated. There's always room in sport for a scrap like just this. Follow him up. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Not this Not time. This time. No. Right, get this guy all the way over here. And this guy. I'm gonna go for it. Nice. Guy. Yeah, just ignore our darches. Let's go. Yep. We don't care. Alright, I don't have a lot of defense going on at the moment. What about front? There we go. Alright. That's it. Took the ball. There's one goblin here that can block my path. That's how we go in here, so we go. Moved right next to a teammate. Well, yeah, he moved right next to a teammate. That teammate's kind of knocked out. All right, that one's going that way. That player is about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. That's quite a mess. Even Seach would struggle to untangle that. They're also going all in now. Blitzer. Mr. Over. Please get rid of his work for me. Follow him up. Mm. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> Run for it. Question is, what is this? It's a blitzer, so he's not the best at throwing. I don't really think that matters at this point, because there's a tutorial mode. Getting everyone in there. Can we just run with this guy? Let's go. Um, let's put him. The player is pushed here. It will finish in the public. Yeah, I know, and in general, fans are much more dangerous than players. I really think this goal Not a wise place to end your turn on the border of the pitch. If the player gets pushed into the crowd, well, the last time that happened, it took three days to piece the body back together. Can we get these guys up?
Okay, and um, nah, that ain't happening. Maybe. Let's go. Nope. Right, and turn. So yeah, he's on the edge, and the only one that can grab him right now is that goblin. But, we'll have to overpower all of these dudes, and that ain't happening. Let's sir. He's got movement, this guy's got movement, so... You can make it. It's a catcher, yeah, you can Come make on, it. guys! Together! Not too sure about the skills that of That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before a fall. I have anything in my bench. So, 11 is exactly what we need to do. Wait a minute. The Foreavers have got a sponsor, and they can use their home stadium, the famous Altdorf Old Bowl. Why ain't they there? It's not there anymore, Bob. When the Reavers got kicked out of the stadium back in 09 due to crippling debt, some property company called Under Empire Limited took it over and promptly dug up the Astro Granite so that they could repaint the surface or something. It hasn't been used for Blood Bowl for several seasons now. There are rumors going around it's going to be a nice estate with good transport links, a community center, and a pretty part of the children. For it. An unmolested enemy in the end zone? Go. Not my day. Catch. Down touch! That's a down touch, everybody! Don't touch. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, touchdown! I mean, wine. Uh, red wine. <laughs> I'll eat that ball if the losers win and the time left. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't think they can, they just got two more turns left, so no way. I mean, Skaven can do a one turn, uh, one turn touchdown, I believe. That's what I heard. Possession is the key to winning. That's one Must point. Must drive though. the coach crazy, as his team has just kicked it away. <laughs> oh, oh, overshot it. Touchback. At kickoff, if the ball ends up on the outside of the opposition half of the field, the receiving coach can give the ball to any player of his team. I like this setup. It's actually a pretty solid setup. You got three in advance. You got two in the back. This you got player two in the wings, likes to be well assisted in a fight. It's just that these orcs are very. Swaling. He's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. They're very set on pushing them back. Like they're, they're very melee engaged. So I'm beating them at their own game. And they're well. Player, I gotta say as well, they're ball players. Smells right. weakness. Every time that goblin with the ball just runs over here. Like he's doing. Right. So, did anyone get knocked off? Nope. For it. Yeah, I'll take it. Over they go. Nope, never mind. <laughs> well, at least he's in place. I'll take it. All right, punch him. Follow him up. I can't, I can't seem to injure them yet. I think that's being disabled. All I can do is stun them. Oh, I did watch a video, I'm kind of curious. Where is it? Um, this one? This one? This one? I can't, I can't look at the statistics at the rolls. Two rat ones, no way. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich.
That one's got fists bigger than ham joints. <laughs> Let's uh, follow up, sure. Mm. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> this guy's a tree strand. How much strength does this black work at? Four. How come? I'm kind of curious. How come it's tree red? Nice. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, oh, too bad. That's okay though. We already won. So many touchdowns, Jim. I've lost count. I mean, I can only count to three anyway. That was a lot, right? <laughs> Ball vision. Well, that was a good start to the Reavers' season. I'm mildly impressed, Jim. But has the coach got what it takes when Swimmer shuffles back off to retirement? And now the Kabasi brothers are on the case. They're gonna target the Reavers until Griff comes out of hiding. Which makes it all great viewing for us, Bob. Right, the feedback on anti-social media network Twerper is that we've talked a lot about the Reavers. And some viewers want to know about the other teams. Ugh. It's a mixed bag, Jim. Look out, die are the ones to watch. Still led by that craggy old orc, Farag Ghoul Chewer. The Warhammers are consistently good, and the Skaven Blight Scramblers have been... okay. If I was a betting ogre, and I am, then I'd splash the cash on the Nagaroth Nightmares. I've heard from insiders in their camp. Their new training regime is murder. Quite literally murder. And it's made them thirsty for more on the Blood Bowl field. Thanks, Bob. If you would like to join in the conversation, then we have all the tools of anti-social media at our disposal, including Facetome and Twerper. Reavers fans, please send us your thoughts and theories on the latest developments, and we'll show some of these twerps live on air. You can find us on our Twerper feed at Twerper Jim and, and Bob smash tag Comeback Griff. I can't wait to see these twerps, Jim. If Blood Bowl fans have taught me just one thing, it's that everyone has an opinion. I'm sure their views will all be fair and balanced, Bob. Don't say fair and balanced around me, Jim. You know I used to work for the Wolf Network. <sighs> Still gives me nightmares. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Twerper and uh, Face Dome. Alright, what happened? Win the match and give the Grudge Bearers a good reason to hate you. So they're dwarves, I assume? Yep. Vengeance. Experienced team, alright. Annals. The Grudge Bearers were formed entirely from members of Dwarf Scribes and Bookkeepers Guild who had become fed up just writing about the game and wanted to take part. They quickly became famous for their intricate and well-planned plays, as well as for never getting an insult or dirty trick against them. Okay, well. Still level one. And we have a little bit of extra. Don't gold. forget that to enhance your stadium. It must be of a sufficient size. Can't do anything, team. Okay, we switch to, uh, just to please the The best way to impress your shareholders, a large and full stadium. Well, let's go. Welcome back, sports fans. Jim Johnson and Bob Bifford here with all the Blood Bowl news and events. Already, we've had a major development with Reitland Reavers captain Griff Oberwald. He's not played a game this season, as he's bravely in hiding from some ogre gangsters. We're still trying to track him down or talk to anyone in the Reavers' staff. At the moment, they seem to be as scarce as an honest referee. That's right, Jim. Even as we speak, Cabal Vision seers are scrying the old world. He could be anywhere. Please check under your sofas at home. It's amazing what gets lost between the cushions. Yes, okay. Well, back to tonight's match. The Reitland Reavers versus the Grudge Bearers. Any words of advice, Bob? It's dwarves, Jim. Slow, steady, and brutal. Watch out for the beards. They do occasionally trip over them. <laughs> it's hilarious. Right, so we fought, uh, we battled against fought. We battled against humans. We battled against orcs, and now we're up against dwarves.
Welcome back, Blood Bowl. That's a dwarf. Right hand reapers. Look at this dude. <laughs> Smirk face. I like their armor, their armor is pretty cool. We got, look at this dwarf right dude. That's a slayer. I'm not sure what those guys are, blitzers. Oh, Blood Bowl matches start with a toss of a coin. The winner can choose where to kick off or receive the ball. Uh, kick the ball, defense. So Hmm. I'll go for defense. Dwarves don't really care about the ball. They want to hit first. Hit harder or avoid them. And don't let them pick up the ball. <laughs> Look over there. Agility. The match should be more difficult to win. A number of actions that succeeded automatically in your previous game have now a chance of failure. Players also have another characteristic. Agility. This direct affects the player's chances of succeeding in dodge. Pick up the ball or pass. Take the time to weigh a difficulty. Take up to weigh up the difficulty of an action. What's before that ref up to? He seems to be in deep conversation with that green shifty assistant coach on the Reba's staff. Well, yeah, looks like your standard bribe to me, Jim. Although the referees guild has strict guidelines on bribery, and that transaction looks to be happening outside the regulation distance from a dank and forbidding corner. There's something iffy going on here. Fumble it, fumble it. Ladies and gentlemen, nope. I can't believe it! The dwarf player has gotten hold Double of in. the ball. I repeat, no, the dwarf it. player has gotten hold of the ball! Screw. I mean, double down. He's a, he's got block, so well, I guess I'll just take it. Take it to the face. A block made out of desperation, no doubt. But this time it worked. Wow, these guys are going all out. They're not kidding. Go in there. The attacker has an assist. There you go. Cool slayer. Beat it. Chase after him. to be very keen to get involved. He's certainly doing more than issuing fouls. Looks like the referee He's is making the fouls. I refs are bent as a Talian money lender. <laughs> I love it. You're gonna troll? <clears throat> you seriously just kicked my guy in now the nuts. That's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. 
we were. That player was about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. This is going to be decisive. They just got owned. Oh. That's what the court kids are saying, isn't it? Man, my guys are going to slaughter. These, these dwarves are brutish. <laughs> It's okay though because he's coming to help his buddy. For some That's reason, not hurt. Wow, well, like another guy's going down. <laughs> All right. Well, first up, get this guy up. Stand up. You stand up. You stand up. You stand up. Go for it. Fields open. Go, big guy. Trample all over him. With arms like three trucks, there is only going to be one result in that spot. some of these wars. Okay, we got the bull guy here. Only one. Make a form of blitz. We wait. That. Oh, this could be fun, especially if a ball holder goes down. Nice. Take down the ball carrier before he can move it up the field. Blood Bowl 101. Oh dear. Really? Someone's getting fired in the morning. They're slowly introducing more rules, that's good. And the turn. Don't have anything left anyway. He's blitzing. Oh, he can blitz. I forgot about that. They're going for the ball. Yeah, they got it. It was time. Not far from the end zone. Still near, still near us. The guy with eight movement. What's this? Sad. Trying to find out what I already knew. We were down trying to check what this guy has for studs. Dorch. Going all out. Oh, thanks. Thanks for pushing me away. I needed that away just for the hand. Alright. Um, you get off the ground. You get off the ground. Unity is strength. You go there. Follow up. That's it. Force them back and then pow! If the player remains unmolested, go, they could sprint it. into the end zone. Of course. Sorry. What? Great play! Touchdown! Fast. 
If they keep Damn doing job. that, we'll be in double figures by the end of the second half. Oh, that's <laughs> I like that one. Oh, they're crazy, man. Alright, kick the ball. Uh, can we... No, I still can't choose to... Uh... Ultra my setup, the defensive line. That's not good. That's not good. Fumble it, fumble it. Well, here's a rare event, yeah. Chub. The dwarves have taken an interest in the ball. Right, punches incoming. Yeah, his helmet went off. Not sure if there's any difference. Okay, they're gonna go for the big guy, it seems. Just a little push, I'll take it. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Not this time, though. Alright, well. You go here. Just gonna have to set up a defensive line. Need to get the ball forward. The end zone is in sight. That's like nothing. Well, worth a try. Who's there for spending an awful amount of time on the ground? Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? Are you kidding me? The little guy! Dex the big guy! The fans are ravenous, and so am I. Just one more step! That didn't go very well. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? That player is about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. Hold up. You just left this ball runner alone. Oh no. 
Okay, didn't push that me into player is so close to a world of hurt. Well, I think I still think that hurt pretty much. Oh man, jeez, that look was good. That's it. Throw the ball in their face. At that range, they'll go down as if you were flinging a brick into their jaw. That's a dangerous place to be. Let's follow up. It's a solid tactic. Give me the ball. If you kill the fool carrying the ball, then you stop him from scoring. The cable player is removed from the field, and every throw in he has a 50% chance of waking up and being placed in a reserve box. He may then return to the pitch. So they just lost a unit. Where is their box here? We uh, knocked out this dude, Fugan, which is a runner. It means. No, that's not going to work. That's also most. Likely not going to work. That's no way that's going to work. Yeah, no. No way. Not this guy. No. That's not going to work. Already used Blitz. So, what then? Nope. <laughs> Just nope. One hit. You know what? Enter. Don't really have that many good options. Oh no, the referee's coming in again. That one unit that didn't move and he got kicked in the nuts. Well, at least he's not knocked out. They're Sometimes it's good close to leave these guys the floor, I think. You need to be close. Push to push in so either. close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. They don't care about the ball. Leaving it there. Come on, guys, together. The attacker has an assist. Swords <laughs> brutal, man. Yeah, that team ready. should avoid physical confrontation. Mine's stunned. Double knockout. Oh, he's got blood. In these conditions, it's just crazy. Oh. Uh, yeah. The strength of a bear, unfortunately, fighting skills of a field, though. That's my own mistake. Okay, so, no, move from eight, seven, seven. Ugh, makes the blood boil.
Double down. Well, we got blocks. What are they slapping each other? Dead fish? Put some force behind those punches. Alright, well, I'll end my turn here. Good call. Intimidation is the key. It was one of my strengths when I was still playing. Nice. Not fragile. Fun. Very fragile. Just a push. With fists flailing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. He didn't see the opponents around him, did he? Well, that'll shake things up. Disadvantage is obvious. I wouldn't have tried that. Look at all those players sitting down on the job. They'll be trouble with the unions if this carries on. Stealing if I cared about that kind of thing. Really? Really? This is Joe DeChenzo's are crazy. edge of the field there, within grasping range of the fans, and they're looking hungry. Yeah. Push him that way, follow him up. Let's end the turn. On the edge of the field there, within grasping range of the fans. And oh no, Blitz. There's no harm in making a block on the ball carrier. Well, actually, you could do a lot of harm. <laughs> That's kind of the point. All right, well, there's nothing going to be happening this turn. I wasn't expecting that, and by the looks of things, neither were they. Hmm. 
I wasn't expecting that. And by the looks of things, neither were they. I guess I'll just give him a trash and then. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Let's see if I can stun some of them, or knock them out, or injure them. Unity is strength! Look at Twinkletoes there! There's nothing better than hitting someone smaller than you, Jim. <laughs> Smack! Smack! Knocked him. Smack the player to relieve his team. Well done. That's good. I call that a tie. Wonder if okay, so they got two injured. Well, let's see if they, if they can come back. Nope. So had a reserve player. So, none of the knocked out players seem to have awoken in time for the next down. That must be one heck of a dream they're having. We saw that ref being bribed by the Reaver's assistant coach. Shouldn't he be tackling the dwarves? Hmm. Either the ref is confused, or the assistant coach bribed him to attack his own players. That makes as much sense as putting me on Cabal Vision. And it didn't come off. I picked it up. I'll take it. Catcher. Blitzer. Blitzer. Troll. Blitzer. Lineman. Wait. Oh, wait, I only have one trover and one catcher, right? Yeah. Okay, Troll back to him. Catcher. That was very clumsy. Yeah, you were right next to it, man. Oh well. Start punching some dwarves then. You know what? I'm my turn here. Oh, man. Stop kicking my characters. This is going to be decisive. I mean, I got one zero, and the ball's behind me, so maybe I'll just play a game of. Beat the dwarf. Stunned. That's going to cost. Now it's the other team's turn. Is it? No. Ah, he's programmed like that because that's normally the case, but not now. Put a runner note 
this in one go. What did I knock out? Did I knock out both of them? Is the runners? assist gonna be enough to come out on top? That's it. Pour some back and then runner. pow! Another one. It's a troll. Is this a troll story? It is. Alright, so we got a catcher. No, we got a thrower. Pick up the ball. They've grabbed the ball. A wise move, as it's quite fundamental to the game. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I need to pass by him. You get up. Punch this war. Don't blitz. Punch him. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Go there. Stay. This guy. No, don't blitz. Stay there. Stay there and be pretty. Unity is strength. Yeah. We knocked this guy to uh, Valhalla. There we go. Still want to work in here. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Uh, this way. You go right, and we'll follow up. <laughs> KO. Nice. Another one. See ya. Sides are starting to look a little uneven. It's great, Jim. I smell obliteration. <laughs> this is going to get bloody. That's going to hurt in the morning. <laughs> There you go. Already used blitz, so end turn. This is going to be decisive. That's a strike made with technique and precision. It's not always about sheer muscle. That one hurt. In these conditions, it's just crazy. Hmm. Nothing I could have done there. I admire that, and it paid off. Good old nothing. Bigger they are, the harder they punch. Another way. All right, ninety knife. Follow. All right, now that one's clear. Long pass. Catch. But you're a troller. How come you get so shitty? They pass the ball, but will it be a completion? I miss that.
That's disappointing. They're both still standing. That's stupid. Okay, so it's actually nice to know that they can throw against the ogre and then, then boonk, fumble the ball. Come on, guys! Together! Good call. Intimidation is the key. It was one of my strengths when I was still playing. He's about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. Stunned, right? The attacker has an assist. That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before a fall. Um, well, that'll shake things up. My turn now. Punch this That's guy. quite a mismatch, Bob. I know. That weedy fella's gonna get splatted. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited, Jim. With arms like three trunks, there was only going to be one result in that spat. Are you kidding me? Are you double kidding me? What is oh, this? that's a good tap. Now, can they capitalize on this? Beat it, stinky dwarf. Take the roll. Go fumble it. Nice catch. There now we go. go on, buddy. Keep running for it. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. What is that? They're gathering around that lone player. So is like he. halflings round a sandwich. <laughs> They're gathering around that lone player. Like halflings round a sandwich. Got two. Well, they had to retreat a little. It was getting dangerous. Well, we're on the subject of the Reavers' backroom staff. We've got a twerp here from an anonymous source saying that there's only a few of them left. Apparently, there's been a massive cull. Uh, you mean they all got fired? No, I mean a massive cull. A big burning pile was seen on the Reavers' training ground yesterday. <laughs> Soon, there'll only be the head coach and that goblin assistant left. The cheerleaders have all been fire grilled, I mean fired. They got fat and ugly overnight, cursed by the gods of chaos, some say. I spotted them leaving this morning, Jim. <laughs> I know a potion of ugliness when I see it. If I didn't know better, I'd say someone was trying to sabotage the Reaver's chances this season. Well, all of this business is certainly not helping the new head coach. Talking of ugly, 
Look who's in the crowd, Bob. It's them Kabasis. They're scouring the dugout looking for Griff. Well, he's not there, Bob. He's keeping a low point. <laughs> they should know that by now. Every Blood Bowl fan knows that ogres have got thick skulls, Jim. Takes a while for exposition to sink in. Well, I should know. I'm struggling to keep up with the plot right now. Mm. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> Go for it. Touchdown. Score! Any advice, Bob, for the side that's down two touchdowns? Make out your will and check your insurance policies. Keep away from the fans, because they're not going to be happy. Willem Fletcher. Oh, two of them got back up. Patrol Slayer got hit hard, man. He's still down. I wonder if I was killed. Would I want to return to the game? Probably not. <laughs> How many players do they have? They got three, four, six, seven. No, they got eleven as well. They have one spare one. Troll Slayer's still down. Control Slayer gets up again. Not what you'd expect. This. Then, this is Blood Bowl. I got lucky there with the fumble. Okay, we're gonna get a roll of pain here now. against one, so. Oh, you got a little runner again. Fumble. The dwarf player has just nope, picked up the ball. That's not their style. They must be up to something. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, oh no, Urblap is okay. Now that this player is down, it's gonna be hard for the team to hold. We may see that player later, if they wait. He's going to sleep, and maybe we will see him on the pitch later. No. What did I just do? Of course he's going to fall. How are they going to catch or run with a ball if they're constantly writhing around on the ground? Everyone go to the right flank right now. Kidding me? They're dropping like flies, Jim. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> they only got three turns, you just need to hold them down. Three dice, jeez. It's four against one, no wonder. <laughs> better dodging out of the way rather than blocking, Bob? No, Jim. Strike first, run later. 
That's always been my fault. I'm really okay with just killing him, Riley. Hold on. That's the way. Get him early. <laughs> Former Blitz, let's go. Seven percent. Look out! Oh damn, he's even knocked out. Yeah, okay, go to sleep. Oh well, that's it. So they got two of my good units. They got Urgot, Urblot, and Blitzer. Now he's got a runner and a blitzer. I'm gonna try and push this guy up. Poor guy. He did pretty good though. He's been surviving for quite a while. Oh, well, he knocked out as well. Yeah! Let's finish on an upbeat and violent note. Sure. Literally destroying my entire team. Sure, just knock him out as well. Why not? Push, that's okay. Oh yeah, you're gonna regret that. You just pushed him next to each other. Apparently not. Apparently this guy's a little strength or something. Um, why are you not coming up? Not enough tackle zones on that ball. And now the opposing team has paid the price. Yeah, he can. You got a runner? Thrower, nope. Lineman. Let's run out. I can't. Let's just start punching some dwarfs while we still can. Let's see what the other side can do. Okay, let's end my turn here. Good enough. I already won anyway. I mean, I'm holding the bowl. I got two point lead, so, yep. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Is about to get punched above oh, and that's below. The maybe not good. At the so oh, wait, what's happening? Oh, he's going to get intimate with the fans. They're not too excited. Unmistakable sign of a player's eyes. 
rolling up into his head. He'll be up for some time. After that match, I need to change my underguards. Take a of what I have. Take a quick constitutional. We still won. Yeah, do you? It's another win for the Reichland Reavers, Bob. If you look on their Facetone page. You can see they haven't been this popular since Jakob von Altdorf threw that match-winning pass, which also killed an inattentive troll in the same lob. Oh, how joyful. And that was nearly two decades ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Good times, Jim. It's strange. Parse down X3. That's the Reaver's enigmatic sponsor for those viewers that haven't been paying attention. Yeah, you. They are demanding the head coach be fired and replaced with the only remaining assistant coach. The shifty geezer you identified as an ex parstown employee, Jim. Strange behavior for a sponsor, Bob. You'd think they'd be happy with Reichland's success. Yeah, with that and the older gangsters taking their anger out on the team in Griff's absence, I'd say that was a uh, comprehensive summary of the plot so far. Right, it would be wise to start recruiting staff for the next match. Access your team's management page by clicking the ads emblem and go to the team roster. Got 330k, my team value went up for some reason. Staff bring a number of bonuses to your team. For example, in each match, the team rerolls allow you to retry filled actions. Now buy two team rerolls. This new coach seems to have been listening to what we say, hey Bob? Hmm. The team have got some extra training under their belts. And the coach gets some re-rolls. Well, we do talk sense occasionally, Jim. <laughs> well, I do at least. Wait, what did I say? Okay, teams. But is that I should buy two and I just bought three? Why? Because I can. Don't forget, coach. You need to maintain your home stadium. How do I maintain it? I can't do anything with it. Team roster. Okay, so I've been knocking out stuff, etc., but I didn't get any experience for that because apparently these are still tutorials and so they don't count or something like that. We got Valerion Charioteers. Elves, high elves. For the memory of the passed away experience team. Alright, let's check out elves. Vert, the Valerian Charioteers are amongst the oldest team on the circuit. Early on, were they seen as the new Galadri of Gladiators? Their ambition came to an abrupt end on the day they club meet Kale's All Stars, who invited them to their changing room for a friendly third half. The players never re emerged, and the club spent some time rebuilding a lineup worthy of the name. Right, got some pointy ears. We're almost the same team value. Okay, I guess my. Again. They say that extra money is worth team value. Three team rerolls. What is that little sign? What is that? It's their level, I suppose. Alright. Alright, guys, be right back. Just gonna take a small break and I'll be right back with you.
Alrighty guys, I'm back, so let's jump into this match. Humans versus High Elf. So it's the Reitland Reavers versus the Feleroyan Charioteers. Not for balls, Jim. Not elves. Now, now, Bob. You really do have to get over this thing you have about the elves. It's their narrow eyes, Jim. Uh, I don't trust them. Hey, I'm not a racist or anything. I only hate elves. I wish they were all dead. Oh dear, let's just watch the game, shall we? Well, I don't wish them all dead, but I'm not a huge fan of elves either. Give me dwarves, man. Dwarves. Welcome back, Blood Bowl fans. It's a nice stadium. It'll do. My focus will be on the pitch. The Reitland Reavers. Versus the Valerian Charioteers. I believe that guy with the long, uh, long ponytail helmet, that's the strong unit. The hero unit, if you will. Oh no, because there's two of them. Flip a coin. I don't care which side goes first, really. Alright, kick the ball defense, receive the ball. You know what? Let's. Let's receive the ball. This they time. love playing with the ball. It would be inspired to put some players near the end zone, just in case. From now on, game sequences begin with a setup phase. Choose from among suggested setups. They correspond to the game situation or place your player as you wish. Falls arrow. Brutal opening. Falls arrow. You know what? We're fighting else, so let's go with a brutal opening. Why not? Firm setup, sure. Hey, he's throwing it. He's not kicking. Turnover. True blood bowl begins now. When a player fills an action with the ball or falls to the ground, there's a turnover. The turnover ends. The turn ends immediately. Thrower. Thrower. That's good. Let's punch some. Oh, no, don't throw. Just keep it. Close to gap. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? Yep. Stay. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Not this time. Thirsty. Push. And then stay. No. Yeah, there we go. Stay. Get wrecked. All right. Um. What is that guy doing? All right, end the turn. Uh, 
Now that's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Yo, Benjamin, welcome to the stream. Greetings from Mercy the Math. Um, <laughs> thanks. I'm... Humans and High Elves, two of my favorite teams. They've gone into the opponent's I, tackle zone. Oh, well, uh, I, I love humans, I don't really like High Elves. I mean, no, in the Warhammer now, universe, I'm not a like huge fan of Elves. Like a hot dinner. Maybe that's my experience from Shadow the Horned Rat and Dark Omen. The Felleroin Charioteers are an old team, mortal actually, but not one you hear much about. They've Maybe never won a major. Maybe in this game they're pretty good. I don't know. If memory I, I serves, know. they were tipped to be the next Galadriel Gladiators. Things were looking up, but then they played a game against the Chaos All Stars, and in the aftermath, actually accepted an invitation to go back to the All Stars locker room for post-match drinks. <laughs> Oh, that sounds nasty. Oh, yeah. It's taken them this long to get a decent team back together after the original squad never came out of the All-Stars locker room. They were never seen again. Well, pieces of them were. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. So I was going to say, I'm a, I'm a real noob when it comes to... This game. It's a bit hard to hear you over the game sound. Could you turn down the game sound? I can try, actually. Um, sounds. I actually stop talking when the narrators. I oh, had yeah, the comments. The comments are quite high. I actually stop talking when the narrators talked. Because uh, I kind of want to record everything. And yes, Benjamin, I am actually Dutch. I live in the Hague. So as I said, I'm a, uh, I've been playing lots of Warhammer games, but I'm completely new to Blood Bowl 2, so I am managing, but I'm not doing good, I guess. I mean, I'm winning. That's something. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. The Taya is the mainly the narrators talking loud. Yeah, I know. I, I just lowered them down a little bit. My intention is not to talk at all when they talk, actually, because uh, their commenting is quite fun, actually. At least I find it fun. The attacker has an assist. Not doing too well. I need to move forward. That's it! Get in their face! With arms like tree trucks, there was only going to be one result in that spot. I mean, I've been, mainly, lately I've been playing a lot of Warhammer Dark Omen again. Been playing some, uh... Warhammer Space Marine. Kind of finished that game already, actually. I kind of want to start soon with Warhammer Total War. As well as... Um, should I risk a one roll? Let's go for it. Push back, but not over. Yeah, I kind of want to start Warhammer Total War. Definitely fun game. Did play it a little bit. I'm playing basically every Warhammer game there is, or the ones at least that I like. But, um, yeah, some of these uh, games I'm not very good at. One of them is this one. Well, you can only learn. Learn and uh, get better at it, I guess. That player's going oh, for it. Going for it. 
sneaky elves. Hmm. I wonder how fast they'd be after I broke it some legs. This could be a sack. <laughs> I love it when that happens. He just used a reroll, didn't he? They left the bow carrier exposed. There could be a counter strike. So as I was saying is that in Shadow of the Horned Red and Warhammer Dark Omen, one of my first Warhammer games I've played, and actually the games that introduced me into the Warhammer universe at all, um, yeah, the elves there are kind of annoying, so that, for me, already built a bad relationship with them. And the dwarves were always very useful. So yeah, I've always been friends with uh, dwarves and not so much with elves. Okay, get up. Let's see, we start punching some of these elves. I do only get the pushes. Just follow them, I guess. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. This guy's a trover. He's the one who carried the ball. No, he's... Fifty percent chance pickup. Eh? From uh, Total War Warhammer Three, I would wait for sale. Yeah, it's a bit steep right now. Actually, I'm going to start with Total War Warhammer 1 first. So, uh, I already have that in possession. Um, and since I'm playing so many Warhammer games at once, I'm just going to play a little bit every now and then. Probably going to do the Empire. I want, to, I want to play as the Empire when it comes to the War, Total War Warhammer. And then when I play Warhammer uh, campaign, I'll do, uh, yeah, like I said, Empire. And after that, maybe do another Empire, uh, another campaign. I'm also still playing more time, so uh, yeah, all of those games are quite long and big, so they don't really finish them that quickly. So I just l play a little bit of everything, and then every now and then a person in my stream pops up like, Hey, uh, what about this game? Have you... Why are you not continuing it anymore? And then I switch games again and start playing that for a bit. Okay, um, that's a good choice. Let's get these in here. They'll need to scoop up that ball and quickly. I really should be covering my ball a bit more. A loose ball is a dangerous ball. Goody. Yeah. Mm. Is there someone in front of me? There's not. Let's get this guy up. That's gutsy and brilliant. Taking the ball from right under the opposing team's nose. There we go. That was my tactic. Not sure if it would work off, but it did. Less pressure on the ball. That's a good move. Nice. He's knocked out. We don't ah, see him back block to start the match. I love it. Mortal Empires. Uh, if you would consider getting warmer too, you can play Mortal Empires. Yeah. Um. I've seen that actually. War was that Warhammer two or three? No, that was two. I did watch some videos on Warhammer two, and it seems like that uh, map is quite a lot bigger than the uh, original one. More factions as well. But then my plan is to eventually play them all. I mean, I like Warhammer. I know my my name says Final Fantasy fan, and truth be told, I should be focusing a bit more on Final Fantasy. But uh, Warhammer's got me caught up in its net. It doesn't want to let me go. Which is fine. Ooh. Yeah, that's a turnover, isn't it? Yeah. Turnovers are very dangerous. Reduce risks, but... Well, I'm trying to get through these elves, but... They won't let me. Get next to the ball carrier so you can block them. And if that doesn't work, stab them in the face. Oh, he's blitzing. Come on, knock him over. I like this. The dung is about to hit the fan. <laughs> Since I can choose, just push me. This player, the attacker, smells weakness. 
a great game. Yeah, I like uh, I like Warhammer. Uh, Total War Warhammer, that is. They it's, kiss the death. Time I guess, as close as it's gonna get to uh, Warhammer Dark Open. Micromanaging RTS. Okay, you gotta start punching some of these elves. Go, big guy. Trample all over him. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Not this time. I might also pick up some more. Uh, I, uh, I already bought another game actually, which is uh, Warhammer 40k Epic Final Liberation. Which is 40k universe, and it's super old, but it's quite fun. Um, let's push this guy forward. Less pressure on the ball. It's a good move. Just punching all these elves. <laughs> I'm just having way too much fun just punching all of them. It's my first time when I'm playing human I can actually punch some elves because normally they always want to ally with you. I guess in uh, Warhammer Total War you can also just punch elves. You can just wage war with them. Another reason for me to play Dark <laughs> Warhammer. <laughs> um, okay, I kind of need to start pushing now. Let's get you there. We can just blitz this dude. Come on, guys, together. I can knock him out, but that doesn't work. Go for it. I just realized I kind of left him in the open, but we'll think of something. There we go. This formation gives him a safe progression. It's going to be hard to make him lose the ball. Don't trip. Good job. Stand up. Stand up. Well, since it's already the end of the turn, let's see if we can... Oh, that's a low dodge chance. Go for it. Oh well, that didn't work. Uh, oh, I'm okay with that. Skip. You can keep him down. Another player on the ground. The coach will be spitting teeth about this. Too bad he got uh, unconscious. Ah, mercy to Matt. All right. Um. Yeah, like I said, I'm. Uh, didn't know who that was, but I will check him out then. What games does he play in Warhammer? One specific game, or like like me trying to play all of them? Come on, you got Double a blitz. Jim, they're going for the ball. Right, well, that's a push. I'll take it because he doesn't have a blitz anymore. Only use for a ball, in my opinion. To highlight who gets hit next. Dorch, nice. Don't push me in the crowd. I need to get out of there. Oh, he's not crowd. Okay, that's one way to get out of that there. player shuffling off the field. And possibly off his mortal coil. Uh, let's, try, let's try and secure the touchdown. Follow up. One less obstacle for the ball carrier. Nice, he's not tapped. Ah, yeah, we called up. that... Nuffles kiss. Let's see, can we score a touchdown? No. He's a thrower, though, so. Hmm. Probably should just run the normal way, I guess. From Total War, but he played Demon Hunter, too. Alright, alright. I'll check it. Does he do uh, just gameplays or does he do uh, impos and trips and ticks as well? There he goes. Um. Uh, you keep it. 
use my rerolls on those. But when we do those Elvises, they can they can, they have speed. They're running. Yeah, there he goes. Some defensive pressure gathering. Oh man. That's a blitz. Look at him. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. Yeah, I'm screwed. That's it. Aim for the ball carry. Take them down. Are you kidding me? Fucking pointy elves. So I know that these elves are so annoying. Look at them, they just dodge everything. Here, keep the ground. They'll need to get rid of the ball. Now there's pressure on them. Probably should have blitzed that one. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. No. Yeah, I messed that one up. Blitz this guy. I can't. Don't trip. Good He's job. coming to help his buddy. That's gonna hurt. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. <laughs> Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. Punch him instead? No. That's definitely not working. Double down, I'll take it. <laughs> I was just getting born. <laughs> Turnover. Alright, then if he does uh what just happened there? If he does these inter uh, informative videos, then I might check him out before I play. That's what I did with this game as well, but as you can see, it's not working really well. <laughs> yeah, okay, he's in the crowd, that's not and good. And to the crowd they go! So what does that get me? Okay, he's just... <coughs> nice. Eat. Dirt. That player's a little short. Oh no, my mistake. He's on the ground. <laughs> he's on the ground. Awesome. Trover, Trover, Trover. What are you? You're a blitzer. You got how much chance of pickup? 67. How about you? 67. Well, let's punch this guy. Um, that might that be blitzer nice. is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Yeah. Pride comes before the oh, fall. Going for it. Wait a second, what's happening down there? A touchdown is go, so go, close. Go, 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 go. Oh, look at this. Take it. He scored. He scored. <laughs> that was a risky move. But we got it. Boom. Touchdown. Just before halftime. <laughs> that really screws with the players in the locker room. Well, 
With that touchdown under their belt, we can finally get this match started. He's still locked up. And one of him. Wakey, wakey. One team's got some early knockouts back. And for Possession is the key to winning, which must drive the coach crazy. As his team has just kicked it away. <laughs> I like Emperor Shield. This one looks decent. Actually, um. I'll go with this, I guess. Oh, we, we just grabbed it out of midair. got one reroll left, I got two. Your opponent is playing. I, I'm playing against PC, how long does he need to think? Uh, safety in numbers. Look at their agility, man. Blitz, he's bringing blitz on me. This is going to be decisive. Just don't knock him out. <laughs> I can live with that. Unity is strength. <laughs> he's sprinting. Let's hope it's going to be okay. guys are way better than the other team's DLs. Look at him. Look at him They're building a in. cage around the ball here. It's a solid tactic. Here, got to eat grass. You're gonna reroll? You're gonna use it. So, how does that work with rerolls? Do you get them back? What's this? You get them back after halftime. Can't anybody catch the ball tonight? The player's fist is approximately the same size as his entire opponent. Smack! Eat grass. It's mainly, it's almost half time anyway. Torch. Oh, there's still no founder. Alright, now, I'd like to see you get out of that one. Or unless he throws the ball, I just realized. throws it to him, I'm screwed. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? <laughs> Got one lineman knocked out and they have one catcher knocked out. If the player is pushed here, it will finish in the public and in general. Fans are much more dangerous than players. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Fumble. If they could hit like they moved the ball, I'd be one happy old girl. Oh, G-Man. Are you kidding me? 
Well, I'm Touchdown. learning the hard way. <laughs> Halftime just around the corner. The game is getting interesting. Oh, and an equalizer. Very, very well. Nothing is decided yet. They just scored a point in the last, last turn. Well, I got my unit back. Kind of curious as they're going to be a learning point. What about those rerolls? All the knocked out players are back uh, on the He's got all of them How back. Okay, then I should have definitely used them a bit more. Both of these teams are on the edge. This kick is crucial. What's this? The charioteers are looking very angry and seem to be ignoring the ball. What's going on, Bob? Ah, it's great, Jeff. This is much better. I've got word from a reporter on the ground, Jock Strappy. He says that the bath in the charioteer's locker room has been replaced by a cauldron of blood. All right, so the behavior of the is far more aggressive. And the ceremonial death cauldron which elves used to bathe in. Calm yourself. Confusing high elves for dark elves. That's a big faux pas. More than a faux pas. It's downright offensive. But on the bright side, Jim, it's given these goody-goody elves a bit of an edge. Now they're vicious instead of being all nuts. Like I said, I'm no racist. Wood elf, dark elf, high elf. <laughs> Who can tell them apart? I think I can hear. It's getting my ass handed to me by elves, which is even worse. The players arrive to assist their teammate. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. I mean, there's nothing I can do. That player is about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. This player, the attacker, smells weakness. I'm not good against agility class based. Well, you eat grass, stay there, get knocked out, or do something. Bite night. Don't let the bed sweet. bugs bite. Really, don't let them. They're massive and can take your hands right off. me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. for it. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. The attacker has an assist. Are you kidding me? Who is this guy? Four or something? Good call. Intimidation is the key. It was one of my strengths when I was still playing.
Which one is going to blitz? They just got owned! That's what the cool kids are saying, you know, isn't it? Checking what I can do, really. Go for it. Those players are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. Let's blitz him. This is going to be decisive. can be so overrated. There's always room in sport for a scrap like this. Ah! Oh, <laughs> the sound he made, jeez. That might just be what I need. Well, I'm gonna have to risk one of these guys. Which one's a blitzer? This one. It's a blitzer too. What about this guy? This guy's a blitzer, but he's not. In the title. Let's see some blood in Blood Bowl. Well, the player's down. Turn over. Stunned. Just turning into a big, massive slaughterhouse here. Surrounded by adversaries like that, I hope he knows what he's doing. Look at them twinkle toes there. Ah, at least they have teammates around them. With fists flailing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Knocked out. That's that's just Knock gonna out. be my play right now. Just knocking them all over. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> I knock them all over. Let the bed bugs bite. Really? Don't let them. I, I hit them so hard the game even bugged. Right it's like, nope, you're going that way.
that one's got fists bigger than ham joints. That's it. Pour some back and then pow! How come that's going for it? Okay, got the darts off, that's good. We'll go towards the ball. That's it for now, I guess. I knocked two out, I'll take that. Mm, yeah, smells like a good old fashioned fight. Come on, guys, together. Stunt, I'll take that. Just stay down for a second. He'll get an assist now. Wuss. Unity is strength. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. You're having another one knocked out. <laughs> one side got superior numbers. Oh, we send them all to the bench. <laughs> that player is shuffling off the field and possibly off his mortal coil. <laughs> like tree trucks. There was only going to be one result in that spot. Keep it like that. That one's knocked out, so can't do much. Knocked another one to smithereens. Thing is, is that moment I make a touchdown, they have a 50% chance of recovery. Come on, one foot go. in front of the other. It's not that complicated, Real, is it? You are. Yep. Please fall again. Nope. It's a good thing though they lost for reroll. He's not out with the fairies. Turn over. Better watch out. Um, Hang on. Did you see that? Let's take a quick look at that player. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. He'll be out for some time. Okay, I'm not gonna blitz. That's a bit of a waste. Oh, wait. I couldn't. Probably should have blitzed. Got <laughs> another one, Kato. <laughs> we may Is see it? that player later if they wait. Is it even possible to knock out their entire team? Look at them, there's eight of them. Even numbers, right? Oh! 
And then another one. <laughs> Not out. Yep, you can sit on the bench as well. Uh, I'll uh, push you in there. Follow up. Okay. He's not good. my bad manners, but I gotta break in here. They've smacked a player to relieve his team. Well done. <laughs> they don't get any units left. Now, what happens if I knock another one out? Because they don't have space in their bench. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Not this time. How many turns do we have left? Okay, a few. Just need to be careful. I still need to make that start, Shem. Just having so much fun just knocking all of them out. That I nearly forgot about the objective. Winning. It's so close, and yet so much can still happen. Nothing certain in this game. Well, you haven't seen their bench. Should have saved that reroll. I don't think I can knock out another one, can I? A loose ball is a dangerous ball. The player needs to secure it fast. He tries to secure the ball. This is going to be decisive. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. Good catch. And oh, so near to the end zone. And it's a touchdown! Just put that touchdown down. And so the kicking team go into the lead. Can the opponents do anything about it, Bob? Well, I doubt it, really Jim. There just isn't enough time. Hmm? Mine's getting back. How about that? <laughs> I'm okay with that. We're still down for man. Time to rise and shine for some of those sleepy heads. Yeah, the first shield pretty good. Being outnumbered is never fun, Jim. But on the Blood Bowl pitch, well, <laughs> it's deadly. Important thing, you gotta keep possession of the ball and not lose it. A strike back would be terrible. Oh yeah, I forgot they don't care about the ball. 
They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> here's some friends. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? You haven't rolled a single injury yet, so I wonder if that's Good call. yet. Intimidation is the key. It was one of my strengths when I was still playing. Look at Twinkletoes there. Okay, now I could just end the game and win, but... I turn to bechamels now. Unity is strength. I like bashing elves. It's fun. That one's stunned. That one ain't getting up. Two big guys is always better than one. You're not getting knocked down anymore. Okay. Uh, got only one blitz left, so might as well use it. Come on, guys, together. There we go. And that's the end. Can't do much more anyway. A game that really up the ante in the dying moments. That time pressure made the match. That's gone and done it, Bob. Even Spike Magazine's calling for the Reaver's coach's head. Who knew that mistaking one race for another could cause so much trouble? I've never seen it before, Jim. JJ's canny enough, Bob. As long as the Reavers are winning, he may overlook the pressure to sack the coach. And a goblin leading the Reavers? I can't see the fans being happy about that. Even when your own sponsor's calling for the coach's head? I'm not so sure, Jim. And don't forget that JJ's no longer a rich man. He needs the Bell Polisher's cash to keep the team going. You're in the middle of a regular season. A qualification for the playoffs of the Blood Bowl tournament now seems within your grasp. You must continue, you must continue developing your team by hiring some vitals to your player, the Apothecary. Your buffer carry can be used to reduce the severity of an injury on a player once per month. Again, the apothecary. Now they've got a medic. Sticks and stones. We'll break their bones, <laughs> but Bob will come and flatten you. That, that's how the rhyme goes, isn't it? Make sure you recruit more than 11 players. You never know. All right, well. I'm going to get two extra team rerolls. And then... Uh, can get another lineman, I guess. He's 50k, so that he c I can exactly buy that. I guess we'll do that then. Not sure if that's a wise decision, but too bad. Alright, so. Um, let's. Ragnar. Ragnar Wolves, but I'm not sure. Uh, and it's just Ragnar. It's Ragnar's Wolf, so I don't know his last name. Let's go with. I know it's like that, so let's go with uh, Wolf. Can I do this one? I can't. I don't know how to look shit. Let's go with Ragnar Wolf. Then. Good enough. 
that one. And you're hired. Now we got 12 people. There we go, we got a buffer carry, that's good. We got um, five team rerolls. And we got an extra lineman. So, back. We're up against Gizarux Paladins. Let's check them out. Level one, league not registered in a league. The stadium is like a second home for a team. No contracts, team roster. They got 12 people. Is that mine? No, that's mine, isn't it? Or is that theirs? That's theirs. <clears throat> so they got linemen, blitzers, blockers, and linemen. So they don't have a big unit. They got two team rerolls. Annals. It was on the occasion on of his son's 18th birthday that Duke Hagen of Gizero yielded his biggest fancy. Be the boss of his own blood bowl team. Duke did not fuss over details, vouching the best Bretonian players of the time. However, his son's disastrous management of the club led to several of drubbings. Things seemed to have sorted themselves out since the mysterious disappear of the young owner during a tour in the jungles of Lustria. At the funeral, his father officially declared, These pretzels make me thirsty. <laughs> that is just so random, I love it. Alright, let's uh, bash some Bretonians. They're Bretonians, right? Yeah, they are. Welcome back, Blood Bowl fans. We find the resurgent Reavers in a blitz of controversy. It's a bastion. I'm a simple ogre. I like my problems there on the Blood Bowl field. Violence solves everything. I've got no patience for the cloak and daggery stuff. Speaking of violence, I got an interesting twerp this morning from the real mighty Zug I'll Zog and kill anyone who uses my name again. Sounds like a verified account. Well, yes, Zug twerps that he hates to see his team under such pressure and says if the coach can prove himself, he'll rejoin the squad. We better see how they do. So what do we do? We win with a 2-0 blurch down or something? Or a 3 or a 4-0? Four 4-0 zero? Four, four zero is kind of hard. Ball, blood ball. Ah, welcome back, sports fan. Gizarok's Coliseum. Alright, so I this is their Coliseum. Game, Such an unequal rating. <laughs> it's gonna be wholesale slot all the way. Got a decent line up here. Let's check out these Bretonians. They don't got their horses, so how tough can they be? Got some squares. You got a knight there. You got another knight. Another squire. Another knight. You got a fancy knight and another fancy knight. Those must be the block uh, blitzers, I guess. So what do you want me to do? What's my objective this time? Kick the ball. Uh, Receive the ball and go on the offensive, why not? Never really played against the Bretonians, Jim. I've heard the yeomen are tasty, and the knights are good at blitzing. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's do the uh, strong offense. Or. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, bu 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 which one do I want? No, let's go with the brutal opening. Why not? Confirm setup. Ooh, what does Zug mean by who? <laughs> it's the mighty Zug, Bob. There's only one way you could. Armor value. Zug came to see Blot. We're obliged to show him some. The less characteristic is armor value. As soon as a player is down, he risks an injury. His armor value characteristics reduce the risk. Ooh, something to him. Right. Causing as many casualties as possible. Click <laughs> three injuries on them. Yeah, now we're talking. Go, big guy. Trample all over. Really? That's a disappointment. Oh. 
Really? I'm trying to injure you guys. The attacker has an assist. Come on. This is the worst roll ever. Well, since that's the end, get a troll to pick it up. Quick and easy. Now we can see here. And get him there. And then there's a backup. Get, get you in front of him. And I'll take that as an end turn. They can't attack. They okay. Well, they can do one blitz. That's it. Got my whole front line blocked off. Gonna focus on those injuries first. See if I can get them. Cause I need three. I don't know exactly what obligatory means. That's probably mandatory or something like that. So who are these fancy dudes? Blitzers. Okay. So those are linemen. Those are blockers. Where's the other fancy dude? Oh. I don't see him. Is that him? No. There he is. Okay, he's blitzing. That, that's the blitzer. That's it. Get in their face. Jeremiah Cool always. Oh, that was my. That wasn't a blitzer. Get the extra unit in there. So we can get a plus two. There we go. That player is about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. Stay. Fly. So what do we got here? We got a lineman. We got a blitzer. The lineman is moving forward. They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, should be good. The blitzer's going to blitz. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. That's a strike made with technique and precision. It's not always about sheer muscle or size. At my turn. players are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. <laughs> so they got one normal attack with his squire, a lineman, and then a yeoman. I think they're yeoman. That's what he said before. He's blitzing with him again. That's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Wait, now once per turn, you can foul a player who is down. The foul player makes an armor roll, but there's a 1 in 6 chance... Wait, I don't know. can be so overrated. There's always room in sport for a scrap like this. Mm. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles.
One more step in. I'm not really sure what to do here. I could do that. And then uh, attack him. That's not according to plan. And I'll stay. Get him over here. The attacker has an assist. Down already, will you? Wait, you st stunned, no injury. Right, get behind them. I'll be okay with this. You got one guy in attacking position, and then they're probably gonna blitz again. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. It's the same blitzer over and over. Yeah, smells like a good old fashioned fight. Gosh. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? He won't leave him alone anytime soon. Time to break formation. There we go. Come on, guys, together. My unit is in the way. Now follow him up. The domino event. Nice. That's one injury. They're going to spend time on the bench for that. Uh, miss next. I didn't even see that. That one's so quick. <laughs> and he's injured as well. Casualty so early in the match? No long term hey, effects. I might uh, actually start paying that. attention. Let's see what he was. Can we see here what kind of injury they sustained? We can't. Alright, and turn. Um, do I actually. I got my blitz left.
playing very defensively. He's getting up. Okay, he's blitzing. Oh, this could be fun. Especially if the ball. Hey, what's that? It's a solid. Hold it. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Uh, the player is unavailable at the end of the match. He has a chance to recover each knockout. Uh, the player is only stunned on the pitch. He must pass his next recovery and can stand up after that turn. Uh, you know what? Let's leave him knocked out for now. for it. Let's put a cage around those guys, or a defensive wall, if you will. is going to be decisive. Well, that's three casualties, Bob. Point proven. Will Zug actually rejoin the Reavers now? Well, a celebrity said something on Torpor, Jim. It must be true. Turnover. Well, that was not my intention, but I got this one done. Smells like a good old fashioned fight. Some defensive pressure gathering. Yeah, okay, the ball went down. There's no harm in making a block on the ball. Character. KO in all of my guys. Wait, what? Knockout! Long-term injury. Can I just... Oh, and G, man. I, I get RNG screwed with his ogre. goes down. That's my team duty. We got one. Were they asleep then? Well, I, I certainly was, Jim. Either the ball's hexed, or the player's hands have been cursed. <laughs> no one can catch. Yeah, literally no one can catch it. He went from this guy to that guy to that guy to that guy to that guy. It took five people to catch it. I 
Thanks for pushing me out of the way. I follow those, isn't he? Not far from the end zone. Get wrecked. Eat grass. Then reroll. Show Hubies, right? Yes, they're different from other human teams like the Marauders or the Reavers. They hail from another nation across the Grey Mountains. They have uh, an obsession for riding around on horses, saving them, slaying dragons, and kicking peasants in the face. Kicking peasants in the <laughs> face? Oh, that's one of my favorite hobbies, Jim. <laughs> then you might as well head over the border to Britonia, Bob. There's plenty there. And they'll thank you for it. You get it. They want to pick up the ball. But you got to get rid of your opponent first. Skip. With fists flailing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Just keep him down. Jeez, they're all going after that guy. They know he's going to. That player is about to get punched above and below the belt. Actually, that's good. At the same oh. time. Just punch me that way, man. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Got everything done he wanted to because it's the other team's go. I think they're waiting for the ball now or talking to the fans. <laughs> Sleep, man. Eat it. All right, we're running for it. That's good. Now pass it. Reroll. Pass it. Nice. But oh, where are you throwing it? Jeez. Short, and they still couldn't make. It wasn't just bad, that was horrible. Yeah. Well, there goes my turn. The fans seem very... Rabbit. Oh, that I think leave a few bits of the plane. Well, no time yet. No one scored yet.
<laughs> Dead and injured free. Play with ten We're about man, to start the next round, and none of the KO players have woken up. Lazy Who's kid. That? There he is, Bob. Now there's a sight for sore eyes, Jim. That's a Blood Bowl player right there. Maybe this coach knows what he's doing after all. They should replace that player before they lose any more. Set up your players in defense before the kick. Both teams are on edge. This kick is crucial. There he is, Bob. Now there's a sight for sore eyes, Jim. That's a Blood Bowl player right there. Maybe this coach knows what he's doing after all. So this is Mighty Zuck. He is not an ogre, I think. He's just a very, very, very giant human. A very angry human at that. So he's almost the same as the ogre. He's got MA movement. What's MA again? Strength, agility, armor value. I think that's movement points or something. forward a little bit. They put a lot of defense on here. That's a solid formation. I want to see the opposing team have a go at the ball now. Yeah. Wow, he's dead. That's quite a mismatch, Bob. I know. That weedy fella's gonna get splatted. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited, Jim. Getting around to the Move left right wing. next to a teammate. Two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> it can really hurt. Smack! Told someone's injured. Lux, they're going to be carrying that scar around with the rest of their life. Smash collarbone. That's it, at my turn. Okay, they got a little push. Is he gonna reroll that? Nope. This player, the attacker, smells weakness. Both down. I got blocked though. He rerolled it. Turnover. Oh. <laughs> he, and he's injured. They want Look to the fight bench. one against eleven? No learn term effects. Right? Well, at least they're not dead. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
smash up by an ogre is probably one heck of a way to get injured. do that with the Zog, so, um, let's get you over here, we have a Blitzer, this guy's a Blitzer, let's go, they're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich, follow him up, that's it, force them back and then pow, need to get rid of the ball now there's pressure on them Ooh, not good no not good Zug is down what kind of mighty Zug are what you to go down this big guy should quit now got quite a few injured here Push him over the side, isn't he? One more step and oh. he got knocked out. That's good. You can't push him anymore. Yeah, you're screwed. But he can reroll. How many rerolls does he have? He's got zero now. The carrier himself blocks. That's really risky. Let him thunder the rock about the ball. Oh man, he's gonna kill. Ah, we call that Nuffle's Kiss. Beat it, Yellman. Like three trucks. They're not going to be going to be one result in that spot. Oh, wait, what? I don't get that. How? What is that? How come he just punches me out of nowhere? I don't get that one. It's a block. Let's hope Nuffle is smiling on those blocking dice, Bob. Nuffle's always smiling, Jim. You just don't always know which side he's supporting. It's like peeling an onion. Remove the layers before you get to the good stuff. All this focus on the ball is against the spirit of the game. Give me more random violence. <laughs> That's it. Aim for the ball carrier. Okay, we go. Take them down. Arthur. The signs are starting to look a little uneven. It's great, Jim. I smell obliteration. This is gonna get bloody. Oh! That looks painful. So am I. Just one more step. Ah! 
We may see that player later, if they win. Dark Elf Cult of Cain Torpor account has just sent a message out asking for the location of Griff Overwald. Apparently, they want to discuss some promotional opportunities. Hmm. That sounds rather deliciously smooth. More like Dark Elf assassins are trying to lure Oberwald out of hiding. Who do you think's holding that contract, Bob? No doubt. Gotta be the Kobasi brothers. They're not gonna forget the gruff by Griff debacle. Using Twerper to entice your target into the open, though. That's very low. Have these Dark Elves no code? An assassin's code? That sounds like a terrible idea, Jim. Just having so much fun just punching all of them. Uh, there's none of them standing right now. Blitzer. 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 The ball is in the player's hands. What next? Gonna surround the few players that they still have. There we go. I mean, I got two knocked out and one injured, but there's no way I want to be a hand. Two knocked out, seven injured. Unity is strength. That player went down like a sack of snotling unmentionable. Just take your time. Come on, guys, together. Oh, oh he's, even, he's even dead. Oh, <laughs> That player is removed from the field and placed Today's in the death and player dangerous player box. Is tomorrow's necromancer fodder. A death player is lost for uh, to, for his team for good and will not be playable again. There, that, that one's that. The match can't end in a draw. Do something, please! I'm having way too much fun here. That player is so close to a world of hurt. Yeah, alright, let's just bring it home. Here we go again! Don't touch. Touchdown! Finally, a touchdown! And so close to the end. This could be the game winner.
Get one knockout back. <laughs> that an injured eight. Okay, they got two more units to get killed. Nice. And a few of the knocked out players return to the action. Uh, do you want Emperor With Shield? one team having a three player advantage, I can't see how the smaller squad will win. Why did that happen? What happened? Despite being in the lead, this team now has to kick the ball to the losing squad. They'll want to get it back as soon as they can. To the center, yeah. Sure. Oh, they all went to the center. Good thing I did, though. What little the units they have left are grouping it up in the center. You're gonna duke it out? I don't think that's a good idea for them. That one's got fists bigger than half joints. Sometimes the underdog wins the not this time. Stunt ain't good enough. I want them dead. There. Unity is strength. No, that's all I can do. Enter. A last minute touchdown which helps them save the game and probably their self. Yeah, they're gonna need a new team. Their team is decimated. My, now that was a violent game. Oh yeah, I loved it when that Humi got squished. We got the goblin assistant coach hitting his head against the stadium wall, Bob. He does not look happy that the Reavers have one of their star players back. Anyone would think he doesn't want his team to be successful. Very ungoblin like behavior. Right, you're in the middle of a regular season. The qualification for the playoffs for the Plot Bowl tournament is at stake. Define four costs by reaching Earth's by reaching his objective. Overrun the Negger of Nightmares. Gym challenge. Obligatory. Get two witch elves off the pitch by any means possible. Okay, so crushing them, I guess. So what we got here? Team roster. We got a lineman, 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 a runner, a lineman, two blitzers, and Two witch elves. They have some weird stuff here. Frenzy. When this player blocks an opponent after uh, an arrow or an exclamation result, the player must immediately throw a second block against the same opponent so long as they are both still standing and adjacent. You must systematically follow up. In the case of a blitz, the second block will not be made if the player has sufficient MA. This player can never learn or gain the grab skill. Dodge and jump up. The player stands up for free without paying the three squares of movement. The player may also declare a block action while prone, which requires an agility roll with a plus two modifier to see if he can complete the action. So we got which. What are these called? Which elves? Which elves, yeah. Alright, game is loading. A lot. A whole lot. Hello, game. Hello. What server? I'm playing offline. What is it with me and games today that keep crashing? Hello? Escape, maybe? No. Can't do anything. We got some technical difficulties. Oh, there we go. I press Alt, Control, Delete, and then it worked. Oh, there we go.
we go again. I just want to check real quickly. Alright, I'm assuming it's auto save, so. Alright. Stop loading the server, come on. Uh, we got this dude now. Let's check our team roster. Got no money, that's okay, because we got Mighty Zog. Star player. He's got some interesting stuff. Loner. A loner may use a team may use team rerolls, but has to roll d6 first. On a roll four plus, he may use their team reroll as normal. On a roll one to three, original result stands without being rerolled, but a team reroll is lost. Oh, that's nasty. Lock and mighty blow. Add to one. Add one to any armor or injury roll made by a player with this skill when an opponent is knocked down by this player during block. Alright. Mighty Zog. He's worth a lot though, 260. That's why my team value skyrocketed, I guess. Alright, and then replace team. Let's see. My. Oh yeah. And then animals. The Nagarot Nightmares are a new team that was founded after the collapse of NAF. Many of the players came from the disbanded Nagarot Nightwings, who went bankrupt when the head coach took flight with their team treasury. With such a wealth of talent, and the team has already proved to be a living nightmare for more than one opponent. Right. Okay, set. Don't forget, coach. You need to maintain your home stadium. Got a level two sacrificial pit. Um, which elf? All right. Looking good. Let's play the match. Great to see everyone tuning in their crystal balls for tonight's match, Bob. It's exciting, Jim. Sub's gonna put the blood back in Blood Bowl. It's the Nagaroth Nightmares, and there's already some controversy. What's going on down there, Bob? According to our on-field reporter, Jock Strappy, the Dark Elves are outraged by the pre-game wine they've been offered. Apparently, you don't serve Dark Elves. Corked wine. Looks like another potential disaster for the head coach, Jim. I can see that from here, Bob. Who drinks a robust red like that from a flute glass? What on earth is going on in the Reichland camp? <laughs> is it game time, Jim? It certainly is, Bob. Right, so now we're up against Elves again. So there's Agile. You gotta watch out for that. Welcome back to Cabal Vision HD. Very nice stadium, Jim. Oh dear, this is a totally unbalanced match. I can't understand what they're even doing on the same field. Coach knows what he's doing after all. Nigger of nightmares. Why does that guy have a mask? Flipsy scatly dressed elves. Well, I guess that was makes an edge off. Is that their star player or what? You're gonna screw me over again, Mr. Goblin. You know, there's a reason why so many Dark Elf teams have won championships. They're extremely capable players. Yeah, which I hate. To the center? Um, do we go to the center or do we do the Emperor's Shield? Let's go to the center. Um, no, let's not. Let's use the Emperor's Shield. We're, using, we're up against Dark Elves. Dragonbog's teeth, Bob. I'm fed up with this Swilder network sentiment. I need some really good red wine. You're not gonna get it from that stuff. 
Skills. Most players know of skills. They affect your actions and sometimes like to alter the outcome of a difficult situation. Take the time to read those little players as well as the cards of opposing We were served at the start of the match. Even the elves didn't like it. I know, Barber. You'll also remember the money. Game seems to be lagging a lot. Well, are we gonna do anything? Not sure if that was the right way to do it. I lost my entire sound. The whole game crashed. Might have to restart the game here. sound all right oh maybe we got something no i don't okay quick game one side is clear they're more powerful oh, no, than the other you really are a whiny little bloodsucker sometimes jim what's fair got to do with anything this match features dark elves always a tricky prospect bob they're good at throwing the ball, but sheer spite makes enjoy the running game as well. <laughs> Dragonbow's teeth, Bob. I'm fed up with this Swilden network sentiment. I need some really good red wine. You're not gonna get it from that stuff the Reavers served at the start of the match. Even the elves didn't like it. I know, Bob. You'll also remember that my preferred taste is not red wine made from grapes. No. Those witch elves on the field, they would make good wine. Why not? <laughs> I'll go and get you one if you like, Chub. I can't go out of the field, though. You need to get the Reavers to push one off. Then I'll never before like nightmares even realize it. Good plan, Bob. I'll twerp the Reavers' head coach. If he gets one of his players to do that, I know the Gobbo operating the school board. I'll rig the score in return. It's a great plan, Jim. <laughs> Can't fail. Uh, now we better say something about the game to the morons watching at home. Uh, uh oh, did you know our microphones are on? That's going to be a turnover. Nothing better than hitting someone smaller than you, Jim. Mm. It reminds me of the famous story of Nerdling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> there goes Zug Bob, murdering his way to the top of the most MVPs awarded. Just like old times, Jim. With Zug busy killing, I feel like we're back in the glory days of the early 90s. Bone that is a negative skill. When the player attempts an action, he has a one in chance of failing and losing his own tackle zone. Really. More the merrier. The attacker has an assist.
That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before a fall. There we go, KO'd. Marvelous! Let's start as we mean to go on. That's it. Force them back and then pow! Ah, bah. I want to kick him onto the floor. I got my whole line set up. Gotta make sure none of them come through. Because if they get through there, then. Pushing! <laughs> If they got through there, then they can throw the ball like that. Come on, kick. Not good, not good. They can throw it now, and he is going to, I think. Kick him. Surrounded by adversaries really? like that, I hope he knows what he's doing. Getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Go away. The player's fist is approximately the same size as his entire opponent. Fragile. Very fragile. Turn over. Not good. Not good. I never could get the hang of this maneuver, really? Jim. Whenever I jumped up, parts of the stadium would collapse, killing many fans. <laughs> ah, those were good days. Killing many fans. Come on, punch her. Are you kidding me? They're just walking past me. He's gonna throw, isn't he? The ball is secure. Can the other team steal it away? They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Good call. Intimidation is the key. It was one of my strengths when I was still playing. Look at all those 
Those players sitting down on the job. There'll be trouble with the unions if this carries on. With arms like tree trunks, there was only going to be one result in that spat. That's not good. Still dodged it miraculously. She's got the dark skill, so I don't want to use the other one. I want to use this one. See if I can knock her out. That's it. Get in their face. That's a strike made with technique yeah. and precision. It's not always about sheer muscle or size. These guys are getting away with everything. And that's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. She's got quite a temper, hasn't she, Bob? You should see my ex-wife. <laughs> you should see my ex-wife. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Get injured or something. That's a dangerous place to be. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> I trained week after week for doing this move, Jeff, <laughs> but gravity was too strong. Okay, we're all getting up. That player's bouncing up faster than an inflated squig. <laughs> inflated squig. Don't tell me he can troll all the way over there. Look at them, they, they dodge Player every single the enemy end zone. He's either waiting for the ball or abusing the fans. <laughs> Okay, turn him. Mm -hmm. Ah, we called well. that Nuffle's Kiss.
Sometimes the underdog wins. Knocked out. Not with you. What's the point? They want to fight one against eleven? That player's shuffling off the field. And possibly off his mortal coil. Ball from that loser. They're in with a chance of turning this match on its head. Just punching a few. How many of them are injured? Three, I'll take that. Finally got Zuck free. Two dice, I'll take it. That player was about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. With fists flailing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Yeah, they have to come back now. That guy was already at the touchdown line. Dude, where are you going? Your team is getting slaughtered. You gonna blitz? One of them should be able to blitz. Where's he? Nice. Turn over. See him. Is this going to be enough to come out on top? Jeremiah Cool always said superior skills prevail. There's nothing better than hitting someone smaller than you, Jim. That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before a fall. Two big guys is always better than one. Smack! There you go, KO'd. I'll take it. No you can take on the switch shell, so. Nice. Very nice. Like a triple torch. Sure, why not? Not a wise place to end your turn on the border of the pitch. If the player gets pushed into the crowd... Well, last time that happened, it took three days to piece the body back together.
two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> it can really hurt. That player is so close to a world of hurt. Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Really, don't let them. They're massive and can take your hand right off. That's it. Throw the ball in their face. That range, they'll go down as if you were flinging a brick into their jaw. Loosen their cage and let the pretty little dog, <laughs> I mean the ball carrier, go. So am I. Just one more step. This is going to be decisive. Um, now let's end the turn for now. They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Should be good. Up, up, and away. These witches are really scared. That's a flurry of blows the opposing player is taking. She just won't stop. Uh, uh, I don't know whether to be excited or disgusted. may solve this problem of players being eaten by the crowd. Just a Well, that's one. Right? Yep, that's one. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> right, um... This one's interesting. I'm gonna re-roll. Try it. Let's hope for the best. I think it's nope. the knee that gave out. That's it. First half time done. They simply have a better dock, or they hit harder. They're obviously outnumbered. Seems impossible to win. This is indeed a vital kick, Bob. But the team scores in deadlock. True, Jump. 
It's time for one of the squads to step up and be a winner. Aha! Looks like twerper user Tinklehound has won tonight's Spot the Psychotic Ogre Gangsters Determined to Destroy a Venerable Blood Bowl Team competition. He correctly guessed the Kobasi brothers, putting them in row H, seats 26 to 32. Those stadium seats aren't always large enough to support Ogreback sides. Yep. The Scumbotron screen camera has zoomed in on them. <laughs> they don't look very happy. The trouble is, Bob, while they're searching for Grip, he's putting the entire Reavers team at risk of the Ogre's wrath. Gosh, anyone would think he's a self-serving, self-absorbed sporting celebrity, Jim. The bigger they are, the thicker they tend to be. Obviously not you. There we go, knocked out. Go back into the uh That's gonna hurt out. in the morning. Still got my blitz. There we go. And move these guys up. And pick up the ball. Yes, they there picked up the ball. Let's Whoopie go here. dee doo. <laughs> Whoopie dee doo. <laughs> oh, that's a fun one. I knocked two of them out. Well, I knocked a few more out than just two. She's the one I need to get away. Knocked out. Game over. He's blitzing. GG. This could be a sack. <laughs> I love it when the Ooh, excuse my bad manners, but I gotta break in here. Now oh, this is gonna get exciting. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, that turned out okay. I don't know how they do that. They just kick me in the face whenever I go near them. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. They'll need to get rid of the ball now there's pressure on them. I'm a bang. Headshot. Knocked out. Ball for Terry. There we go. Are you, are you kidding me? The player's taking the ball, and the end zone is close. Right, yo, you are kidding with me, aren't you? Come on. 
They just turned the table so quickly there. Carrier, so you can block him. And if that doesn't work, stab him in the face. <laughs> this player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Dung is about to hit the fan. <laughs> it's a solid tactic. If you kill the fool carrying the ball, then you stop him from scoring. Blitz through my uh, defense and just went straight for it. They're probably going to score. He's going to run and he's going to take it. And even if I tackle him, he's going to re-roll, so there's no way. Yeah, see? I, I think it's around. a touch girl. Finally, something worth talking about. There's so much of Jim's small talk I can take. Teams of must have the magic sponge this time. It's going to be hard now that they're outnumbered. I'm gonna try and focus on taking her out. on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. <laughs> Two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> it can really hurt. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Not this time. With arms like tree trunks, there was only going to be one result in that spot.
Need to get her off the grid, and then preferably score. He said he could manipulate the board, so I wonder what that exactly holds. It's hard to kill those witch elves, though. End away. Take one. That player is about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. One more step in. I think he's moving. No, he's not. This player, the attacker, smells weakness. That's a dangerous place to be. Build a somewhat defensive perimeter. All right, let's see. And turn. I need to get that witch elf out of there. And she's probably gonna run away, and I'm screwed. Maybe she is going to stay there. I don't know. She's probably not. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. The attacker has an assist. She seems to have gone completely nuts. Oh man, she went the wrong. The bigger they are, the harder they punch. One more step in. Not a wise place to end your turn on the border of the pitch. If the player gets pushed into the crowd, well, the last time that happened, it took three days to piece the body back together. Successful challenge. Well done. You've met Jim's uh, challenge, and the assistant referee has changed the score as expected. From now on, winning this match should be a formality. All right. <laughs> All right. I didn't know that was going to happen. Well, 
a good thing I did that, because now it's 3 to 1. I just kind of cheated the system. Well, it's Blood Bowl, so. Because all's, all's fair in love and war. War and love, what was it again? Get him into a fortress of people. That's quite a mess. Even Seam should struggle to untangle that. Yeah, they pushed me into the crowd. That's okay. The fans seem very rabid tonight. I hope they leave a few bits of the bread in town. He just went to the site. He didn't get injured or anything. <laughs> oh, that was right onto his face. He was ducked over. That player is so close to a world of hurt. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, oh, too bad. That's all that. Oh, no, they got two turns. I thought that was their last turn. Come on, guys, together. The creating an opening. You got stunned. How many of them? They got two KO. At the end of a match, your most valuable player, MVP, chosen at random from each team, earns 5 SPP. If the opponents abandon the game, he passes the MVP naming right to the winner, who does has 2 MVPs. <laughs> hey, Jim. <laughs> How many halflings does it take to change a candle and a lantern? Well, they're very short, so maybe quite a few? In my experience, it takes six. Hey, what's up? One less obstacle for the ball carrier. Oh, textbook stuff. Not much I can do here. Maybe get him off the sight line. End the turn. I've already run this. Not much I can do here anyway.
poor guy. He's gonna get blitzed again. Unity is strength. Yeah, this match was a bit, a bit, what do you call it? A bit ugly. Because I was so focused on those witch elves. And I hate elves, man. Look An at them. incredible so match. I thought my heart would almost beat on more than one occasion. <laughs> kind of cheated, but uh, hey. That Dabo scorekeeper's going to get fired. Or probably worse for doing that to the dark elves. <laughs> oh, well. You feeling refreshed, Jim? Uh. Yes, Bob. Thanks to you and the Reavers. In fact, I feel a little bit tipsy. <laughs> hmm. I may have drunk too much. I love you, Bob. No, really, I do. Uh, yeah, Jim. That last comment's already trending on Twerper, buddy. I think it's best we keep focusing on the Blood Bowl, Bob. Next match is a big one. The Gouge Die versus the Reichland Reavers. Fans will remember that the Reavers got trounced by the Eye in the last game of the season. The Gouge Die Captain Farong Gulchur was on his homicidal best form, slaying many Reichland players. <laughs> Let's talk to somebody who knows the history of this great rivalry. Johan Wesker Platt, you ran the Reavers Supporters Club. You're a super fan, aren't you? Hello? Where am I? Johan Wesker Platt. Is that you? Why am I here? It's dark and cold. Are you a demon? No, this is Jim Johnson on Cabal Vision HD. Were you not briefed before you took the call? Call? What call? I was sat in my garden, and then I appeared in this void. Ah, well, we may be having teething problems <laughs> with our summoning ritual. While you're trapped in the ether, could you tell us about the rivalry between the Gouged Eye and the Reichland Reavers? Y you'll get me out afterwards? Oh, of course. It's one of the oldest in the game. They've been at each other for centuries, but it really heated up over the last couple of decades. Varag hates Griff, calls him a mincing humey snot rag. We asked about this at the press conference. Griff answered, Varag who? Thing is, no one could tell if Griff was being subversive or really didn't have an idea who Gulchur was. In any case, it really annoyed Varag. Is something in here with me? No, I'm assured by the summoning wizard. You're all alone in there, wherever you are. So please continue. The two have hated each other ever since, and that's fed into the team and fans' rivalry. The gouged I have really enjoyed the last ten years of Reaver's decline. As a fan myself, I've got to say it's a real zogging. Well, uh, we seem to have been <laughs> cut gone. off. Uh, sounds rather like Johan was too. I think we may have lost more than the line, Jim. Like his immortal soul. Ah, still, no matter. At Blue Fan Proud has twerped in to say that he thinks the Reavers are gonna win this one and wishes Griff was here to see it. Well, don't we all, at Blue Fan Proud? Ah, don't we all? Your players won star player SPP in the last match. Go to the player tab of your team to level them up. So we get gouged eye. You see the symbol of the player's card? That means it has gained. Okay. Grinzog. So he's their leader, I think. They were talking about Grinzog, right? The best way to impress your shareholders, a large and full stadium. Reichland Reavers. Team roster. We got 30k, which is not a lot. And Sven Carlson level up. The player's just leveled up. You can now roll the dice to see which upgrades are available. Six. But oh, it's a lot, wait. 
Depending on the position, the position of the player, certain skills such as agility will only be available if you get double with dice. Mm. A good result will even allow you to improve one of his characteristics. Okay. As often in Blood Bowl, improvement opportunities depend on the rise of a roll of a dice. A tip, taking time to look at each skill is important. Part of Blood Bowl strategy. So let's see, we got... I don't think we got agility, right? You roll a six. Choose from one upgrade a skill, alright? So we have sure hands. I don't think we can get this. So add, to, add one to any armor roll or injury roll. Maybe a player with this skill when they make a foul as part of a foul action, no? Blocked. Might be a good one. Fend. Opposing players may not follow up blocks made against this player, even if the fan player is knocked down. Pro is allowed to re-roll a, a one dice roll he has made, even if he is prone or stunned. However, before the re-roll may be made, his coach must roll a d6 on a roll of 4, 5, 6, then re-roll may be made on a roll 1, 2 or 3. The original results stand and may not be re-rolled. Player's kick is so accurate. You have, you have the number of squares. All right, this one is. What is this guy anyway? Wrestle. Player can use wrestle on a result. Both players are placed prone in their perspective squares. Even one of them. I have a block skill, do not make an armor roll, no turnover. Okay, let's go with the kick. Fast block, maybe. The player with this skill is allowed to move up to three squares when the opposing coach announces that one of his players is going to pass the ball. Yo, Jimmy Carlson, thanks for the subscription, man. Appreciate it. Um, and the player does have a dodge in order to leave opposing player's tackle zone. If a player performs a pass block, your own turn is knocked down, then this is a turnover. Uh, strip ball. When a player with this skill blocks an opponent with the ball, applying a push or a critical result will cause the opposing player to drop the ball in the square. Yeah, the problem is... Sven Carlson. He's a thrower, alright, that's what we needed to know. Shadowing. The player may use the skill when the player moves out any of his tackle zones, the opposing player rolls 2d6, adding to their own player's movement allowance and subtracting the shadowing player movement allowance from the score. If the final result is 7 or less, the player with shadowing may move into a square vacated by the opposing player. No dart roll. The player may make any numbers of shadowing moves per turn. So he's a thrower. So let's give him the kick ability then. Yes. Ah! The coach! seems to have figured out how to get the best from his players. We've been dropping enough hints about it, Jim. I'm surprised it took him this long. <laughs> Maybe it's time to focus on what matters. No more of this management crap. Let's get back to good old-fashioned mindless Player death. Player rolls the dice if he fills a catch roll, drops a handoff, or fails to make an interception. Okay, so I'm gonna have to check what my skills are, actually. I've got... what is this guy? A thrower. Sure, hands and pass, so those. He's got dodge and catch. Like, oh, one is a catcher, one is a thrower, that makes sense. He's got four blocks. And now the ogre, yeah. So, rolls a d6 immediately after declaring an action for the player. On a roll of one, they are. Uh, they stand around trying to remember what it is they meant to be doing. While Bonad is in effect, the player also loses his tackle zone. He may not catch intercept, pass or assist another player until a plus two is rolled and a substantial roll would drive the ends. Add one to any armor or injury roll made by K Mighty Blow, that's a good one. Fix call. Treats a roll of eight on the injury table after a modified Okay, that's good. Throw teammate, sure. Loner. Loner may use the re Yeah, that's actually not good. Loner and Bonehead are worse. Then we got Sven Carlson. He's got fast, sure hands, and kick. We got Mighty Zog. He's got block and mighty blow, which are good, and Loner are not that good. Loner may use the 
team roll re-rolls for has or rules since when a roll plus hurry may use a team roll with normal. A roll of one to trade original results standing without being re-rolled for the team. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so we only have 30k, so we're not gonna be able to do much, so let's start a match. This is for one, Jim. The game I've been looking forward to all season! And we're back at the old bowl, Bob. The legendary home of the Rankland Reavers. Praise Nuffle, Jim. That facetome fan petition to reopen the stadium must have worked. Either that, or rumors that the holding company, under Empire Limited, gave it back after inscribing the field with a special demon summoning ward. But you're right, it's probably the petition that did it. Anyway, this is going to be a legendary match. The Gouged Eye versus the Reichland Reavers on home turf. Alright, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if a demon puffs up out of nowhere or something. We're up against uh, ogre, uh, ogres, we're up against orcs this time, so... Welcome back, sports fans. The oh, classic oh. The roar of the crowd is deafening, Bob. We're packed to the rafters, alright. The team's better perform, or else there's going to be a massive and very nasty riot. Oh dear, this is a totally unbalanced match. I can't understand what they're even doing on the same field. They got a lot of black orcs here. They got a troll? I didn't check that. I mean, I did check it, but I don't remember. Flip a coin, there we go. Uh, received a bomb, go on the offense. Yeah, sure, why not? Orcs are hard, brutal opponents who can also handle the ball. You've got to be got smarter or know. stronger. That's the way to beat the green skins. Brutal opening, let's go. I'll Where's my old buddy, over. Varai? He's not on the field. Is he in the dugout? I'm sorry, Bob, but something's kicked off and you're not going to like it. Turn a time limit. Turn time limit. You've now acquired all the necessary fundamentals to become a great coach. From now on, you're playing with the big boys, and the time of each turn is limited. The owner at the end of a countdown, your team suffers a turnover. Good luck for the rest of the competition. The Ragland Reavers are accounting. According on you. to his twerper feed, he's quoted as saying that if Oberwald can't be asked to play. Then I can't be bothered with Dahubi Gits either. What? Ah, that lazy green burger. I wanted to say carnage. You better show me some burger, or I will be very disappointed. You knew Varag from when you were a player? When he gives a crap, there's no one who can punch a halfling in the face like him. He showed me his technique once, but I couldn't quite get it at first. Mm. I kept killing the little geezers instead of just maiming them. I remember me and Vara got through a whole town of Brandyberry before I had it just right. Say, did they ever repopulate that place? No, Bob, I believe it's still a lifeless desert. This is a tough one. Just gonna leave the bowl there for now. Tough one. So they got a pretty strong defense set up here. I can't break through the middle. I can try. You know what? Let's go. They just got owned. That's what the cool kids are saying. Great an opening. Oh, Is the assist wrist. gonna be enough to come out on top? Stay here. This is going to be decisive. Stay here. That will hurt. Surely. A little bit. Player. 
Jesus. I'm very close. Smells like a fight mm. is about to happen. Let's throw him there. Let's stay. With arms like three trucks, there was only going to be one result in that here. spat. Blitzer. I'm gonna keep him here. What are you? The catcher. Go grab the ball, will you? A failure that could cost his team dear. That's okay. I was done with my turn anyway. The whole reason why I went for the ball. Who's he going to blitz? This guy here? Line up now. Yeah, he is. I knew it. The attacker has an assist. That's only one. How about you? It's only one as well. How about you? Only one. That's not very good, is it? Now that's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. There we go, plus two. Unity is strength. I'm not injuring any of these orcs. <laughs> well, no surprise there, I mean, they're orcs. right next to a teammate. Come on, guys, together. Nope, they won't go in down. I mean, they're going down, but they're not staying down. Scoops up the ball with ease. There we go. Side. There you go, let's end the turn. Take the revenge on gouge dice. into the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, should be good. 
I've been punching, I've been punching holes left and right, but none of them went, none of them are injured. That player went down like a sack of snotling unmentionables. Take your time to look at the log at the bottom of the screen. Can't. Oh, that's a go. I can't because he just got up, I realized. players are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. That player went down like a sack of snotling unmentionables. Smells like a good old fashioned fight. Are you kidding me? Because two big guys is always better than one. The player's fist is approximately the same size as his entire opponent. Are you kidding me? Turn over. Got unlucky there. Guy's probably gonna get his uh, blitz mode again. Or not. This could be a sack. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Look at Twinkle Toes there. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Did they injure already? Damn. That's a solid formation. I want to see the opposing team have a go at the ball now. Box my formation in. Wouldn't they be better dodging out of the way rather than blocking Bob? No, Jim. Strike first, run later. That's always been my motto. One less annoyance to deal with. This is a lot tougher than I thought. Can't seem to knock him out.
This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Okay, that was a strange move. That'll help a player move without risk. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Wow, they're ganging up on me right now. Now that's a big mess. Aw, oh, man, we got our first kill. He's away with the fairies. He's both carry. Better watch out. They're murderous little beasts. Well done. He helped the ball carry. The domino effect in action. Stunt well. Enter. Yo, Daniel. Leaves a blood ball at the moment. You're up late. It's two thirty. Trying to figure out this game, man. <laughs> I've been beating some of them, but uh, yeah, gonna need, you're gonna need some smart-ass tactics to beat some of these. Imagine playing online against other players. OMG, I'm so not ready for that. Getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. As effective as ever, these black orcs. My goodness, those greenskins mean business. The Reavers are getting mauled. I should be happy, Jim. I really should. But I'm just not feeling it. That's quite a mismatch, Bob. I know. You... That weedy yeah. fellow's gonna get splatted. Oh, I'm excited, Jim. That's going to be a turnover. What is wrong with this ogre? It just keeps happening over and over and over and over. I keep getting those double scroll rolls. I might stop using my ogre. My ogre is kind of rubbish. Those are stupid. Well, so is my ogre. Yeah, it's basically American football in blood, uh, in a Warhammer universe. So it's, it's very brutal. You can actually kill them if you're lucky. But I'm up against orcs now, so I'm not doing too well in the uh, physical department. This guy's gonna fly in. That player is about to get yep. punched above and below the belt at the same time. I really gotta be careful here because they're wiping out my team. 
All this focus on the ball is against the spirit of the game. Give me more random violence. <laughs> Give me more random violence. Love it. Less defenders there are around the ball, the easier it's going to be to move. The fans are ravenous, and so am I. Just one more step. It's a blue. Let's hope Nuffle is smiling on those blocking dice, Bob. Nuffle's always smiling. Oh, there you go. Don't he's always scared. know which side he's supporting. And he's outside the ring, so these people will stomp on him. There you go. Stand up, Booger. He's not injuring them at all. On the edge of the field there, within grasping range of the fairies, and they're looking hungry. I don't think I got this. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna do it in the second half with a bit of luck. Going to get intimate with Oh friends. man, he's dead. But we're not too excited. Oh man, I keep getting these spammers. Beat it. Delete these messages. There we go. So what are someone else? So if I quit. Yeah I am. Oh, that was not my intention. Didn't mean to quit the entire game. But uh, I'd like to try and keep my units alive if possible. And you guys get a quick glimpse of my recording software. I mean, normally in Warhammer, I just take the loss in most of the Warhammer games. But here, I still don't know how to, get, how to play this game properly, man. I'm just trying. Uh, play offline. Yeah, so let's try again. But you're right. Press escape once again to skip the gutscene, sure. Welcome back, sports fans. Jim Johnson and Bob Bifford here. Ah, uh, orcs and humans. What a classic matchup. You know, if I was creating a board game version of Blood Bowl, then it'd be orcs and humans I'd put in the box. Just saying. Go orcs are brutal, dwarfs. but they also know how to play the ball. But I can't... Stay away from them, or hit harder. I can't play for as dwarfs in the campaign, can I? 
to currently doing the campaign. I mean, I know I can do some of the... Uh, I know I can take another unit. A lot of bulls about risk and reward action. Alright, so I should be playing more risky then. Where's my old buddy Varai? He's not on the field. Is he in the dugout? I'm sorry, Bob. Something's kicked off and you're not going to like it. According to his twerper feed, he's quoted as saying that if Oberwald can't be asked to play, then I can't be bothered with Da Hubi either. What? I, that lazy green bugger. I wanted to say carnage. Somebody better show me some murder, or I will be very disappointed. You knew Varag from when you were a player? When he gives a crap. There's no one who can punch a halfling in the face like him. He showed me his technique once, but I couldn't quite get it at first. I kept killing the little geezers instead of just making That's what I take all the sure things first, yeah. That's what I've been trying most of the time, but... And I'm just right. dashing Say, against these uh, orcs, and it's just... Uh, yeah, no they've got a massive advantage here. A lifeless desert. Hey, that play looked almost competent. <laughs> that play looked almost competent. This player it. likes to be well assisted in a fight. Yeah, I'm usually going for all the white ones, but uh, two I, big goons that get together and fall on. I have been <laughs> unlucky in this match. Whenever I got two white ones, I just end up it with two skulls. Even on the reroll, I end up with another two skulls. And the great unclean one. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't actually be like trying to bash the orcs and torture troll it's a trap. I'll try to ignore the troll if I can, but um Can I just punch him with the ogre then? I mean I need to get him out of the way. I need space to get Those to this guy. Are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. That's going to be a turnover. Well, I'll take it. Take out the orc around the troll. 50-50, so it, for it to turn to... Oh, sure. Yeah. All right. Now, that's a good tip. Because the stupid only happens when they're alone. Is it like the loner? They're building a cage around the ball here. It's a solid tactic. Those tips, those are actually helpful, the one you just gave me. That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before a fall. That was risky. Hit the orc around. Look at them, I'm getting massacred here. Ha! I was nice. just That's getting born. <laughs> Oh, 
Really? This player, the attacker, smells weakness. is the best skill in the game. Now that's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Ow. They've kissed the dirt. Is it, is it just me, Tiny. or am I really unlucky with these rules? Maybe it's this campaign mode that's just screwing me over right now. Two big guys is always better than one. So are you telling me I should just, even if I have only one, uh, now one dime, so I should go for it? Mess. I call that a tie. the dice, no, it's not full. Of course I get bonehead. I think he's moving. No, he's not. This is going to be decisive. Both down. Well, no, oh, this one defender down. So black war. Unity is strength. That's quite a mess. Even Siege would struggle to untangle that. Try playing a bit more aggressive then. A bit more risky as well. Run it back and try blocking, stalling a torch's attack too. Run it back. Try to 
bakayım sonunda ne yapıyor. Alright. Both down. That's a strike made with technique and precision. It's not only about sheer muscle. Sign. Tackle or a bad dodge. Oh, he still had a reroll. Oh, eat grass again. Come on, guys, together. <laughs> He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> it can really hurt. I like this. The dung is about to hit the fan. <laughs> that player is about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. should I be doing here? I'm stunned. Bring this guy back. Smells like a good old fashioned fight. Well, what? Down the go. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that didn't work out. That's a dangerous place to be. My goodness, those green skins oh, mean business. The beavers are getting mauled. I should be happy, Jim. I really should. But I'm just not feeling it. Wait, what did I... I think I just messed the apothecary up. So you can reroll an injury? Uh, how it works if I've been using it the wrong way the whole time. With fists flailing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Honestly, I can't even get the knockdown with this. Jeez, they're just wiping my team. Defense is weak. Go on, boy. Ah, we call that Nuffle's Kiss. Yeah, I don't know how to beat these guys. Probably should be getting a lot better at this game first. Look at it. Wait. Sure, I'll have him there. Let's 
This guy's annoying. Can you, can you beat it? Because two big guys is always better than one. I'll just bugger up for a second so I can use my other units. Nice, he's nipped out. That's good. That was a black orc. Wasn't that it? player shuffling off the field. Yeah. And possibly off his mortal coil. We'll use, try and use this one. Smack! I think I'd build a decent defense here. They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Probably Fair not. Should be good. <laughs> yeah. Me getting rid of the black orc was a good thing, though. That's it! Get in their face! Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? Of course it is, because they always know how to beat the crap out of my character. <laughs> The attacker has an assist. That's it. Force them back and then pow! Gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. The fans are ravenous, and so am I. Just one more step. Gotta take that troll down because he is in the way. Move it. Okay, 
tennis player should be brain transplanted. No, you should stay there. Just stay stupid. That's okay with me. Oh, you get knocked out. Good night. Turn over. Sweet. Well, it's, it probably won't be able to make a touchdown. All this focus on the ball is against the spirit of the game. Give me more random violence. It was time. He's not far from the end zone. That team or should avoid screwed. physical. Hmm? Yeah, That's... sure, he's injured as They're well. They're going to be carrying that scar around for the rest of their short life. I'm just gonna bet. I'm just, I'm just gonna bet on the second half. I'm glad I was able to stop the church now. But... Alright. I've seen mushrooms that look smarter than that. <laughs> I've seen mushrooms that look smarter than him. That's awesome. I'll try and push this guy out. Come on, guys, together. <sighs> Honestly. Oh, that's a good tap. Now, can they capitalize on this? The Reavers are in trouble. Even without battle, the gouged eye are one slick outfit. Top of their game. I don't think Reichland stands a chance. A shame, I suppose. I know you've started to well, good thing like he that. stayed down. Lucky coach. Ha! I bet you wish you were down there on the field. Ignoring the ball and cracking heads just like in the old days. Hey, Bob? 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 Where's Bob? Razor is bad as XCOM. Yeah. I'm actually pretty good in XCOM, but this game is different. Bob joins the team. So maybe that's why I just got RNG screwed as much, because uh, I think this is supposed to happen. You're supposed to have this guy, because it's the campaign. It's not really the same program as the uh, PvP, I suppose. 
Where's the Bob? thing about Bob, oh, look at Bob is how it brings everyone this together dude. in the common joy of death. You have orcs, dwarfs, men, and even beastmen sharing the delightful violence in the same stadium and all desperate to see some shredding death. Players arrive to assist their teammate. <clears throat> yes, they picked up the ball. Wait, that's alignment. Okay, what happened to my? What's the chance? Zero. <laughs> Absolute zero. That's not gonna work, is it? Yeah. Oh crap, I didn't realize I left the left gate open here. You know, I may actually say something witty and insightful soon. I'm just waiting for the players in the coach to do something. Anything! Please, just be interested. Look at Twinkletoes there! Ah. It seems... It's just me here in the studio. Bob's certainly taken back to the field with some gusto. Fair fight can be so overrated. There's always room in sport for a scrap well, like Bob this. Bob has blocks, so let's go. Oh, he has blocks as well. Crap, I didn't even see that. Problem is, it's getting a bit too late here. The uh, cage is 500 dice, so like you surround him with more people than one. Like, block him in with your own players or something like that. in danger and carrier too yeah I 
I think I have to uh, watch a few more videos about tactics and tips because uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still just still haven't figured it all out. The player's fist is approximately the same size as his entire opponent. What's this? Piling on. It's already KO, so. Dodging a troll's less risk than one than at one die. Okay. Yeah, if you can give me a link, sure. I'll try. Uh, I'll watch it later. See if I can get any good. Unity tips from it. is strength. Beat it, lady. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. You got a troll out of the way. A block made out of desperation will die. This time it worked. Yeah, let's be honest. The a prone player anyway. is a dead player. Off times at any rate. But I probably shouldn't have done that because now the orcs are coming my way. And if I had kept him there, then he would have probably taken up another turn of these orcs. See my mistake there. Yeah, you're stupid, stay down. Did this guy leave his brain in the dugout again? Let's they move the guy in more of less, so I'm hearing that the referees guild is mustering more. refs they to try and send Bob and off. Apparently. No one dares okay. go first. Choose. Yeah, that's better actually. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? With arms like tree trunks, there was only going to be one result in that spot. Butcher Daddy! Probably should have read what filing on does. Uh, may you use a skill after you've made a block and chase the victim. If the victim was knocked down, you may reroll armor roll and injure.
Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. So piling on is not good, then. <laughs> That's why I love this game. I thought, you know, give him another injury. Well, a chance of injury, that's good. Apparently it wasn't. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a delay in the, uh, the chat. And then, uh, whenever I get your message through. I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, he's knocked out, finally. We may see that player later, if they wait. Now I can move Zer Zog again. Give him a two die there. Which, in which case, did I give him a two die? Oh wait, it's still my turn. Sorry. is going to be decisive. Well, well, Let's him. take a quick look at that player. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. He'll be out for some time. Nice. Turnover. Hmm. You, yes, you, come and sit here and say something racist about it. No, oh, no, it's just not the same. On the edge of the field there, within grasping range of the fans, and they're looking hungry. this guy.
that's impossible. I gave the, the I gave the ball to a, a lineman instead of a thrower as well. Which is my uh, first mistake. Do you think there's going to be any action at all in this game? Just run I'd like it. to see something happen. Or I'm just going to go and watch Game of Gnomes instead. Standing there drooling. Yeah, well, I'm screwed now. I didn't know my chances would be this low with a throw. Probably should, maybe should have even gone for the throw. Uh, well, there we go. That was luck, I guess. Yeah. Okay, that's just pure luck. Tip, you pushed him in to you I there he goes it. Bob the crowd loves him and I must admit I love him a little bit too could you get me some more wine please how come I can't make a touchdown so this is considered going for it but all the way over here is not hmm. we get out of range from the orcs at least so I secured my touchdown at least. That was more luck than skill, to be honest. Smack! I'm not sure about these. Can, they can blitz, right? Oh, that's probably too far. I'm just thinking if... He didn't see the opponents around him, did he? Probably just need to practice a lot as well. And yeah, definitely, if you can give me the link for those uh, extra tips, then that will be appreciated, man. This player should be brain transplanted. You know, it's not easy. There's a lot of, you know, what my main problem with this game is, is like the twerps. You got these skills. I know you all can make them There's like a buttload of text sometimes, We're but it's like sometimes really all. unclear what it does. You know what I mean. Sometimes the underdog wins the fight. Pile up on it. There we go. Just for fun. 
because it's fun. <laughs> and I got my touchdown anyway, so. You know what? Let me see. Mm, should I secure my touchdown already? Probably should, right? But maybe I can get some extra experience. Mm. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> Flame strike scored a touchdown. I was thinking maybe I could rack up a bit more ex uh, experience for my units. Since that touchdown was pretty much guaranteed. It looks like that apothecary's magic sponge was on full charge. A few of the chaos have been revived. Ready to play again. A shortage of two players is not insurmountable, but it's not easy to overcome either. They've kicked the ball to the opponents. Now it's time to think defensively. Up the ball. I suppose I should say something memorable or funny here. Um, yes, actually, I already have the new team. That's like after the first mission, you replace the starting team with a new team. Unless they're gonna do it again. I mean, they already replaced my team once. Surrounded by adversaries like that, I hope he knows what he's doing. Ah, at least they have teammates around them. With arms like three trucks. Not it's only going Good to night. be what? To see from what's happening down there. He's going to sleep, and maybe yes. we will see him on the pitch later. He is going to sleep. Let's go one more turn left. Might as well just try to knock out some more, right? So what exactly gives them these SPP? I know a touchdown does, but also knocking them out, right? And being MVP, I know that, but... I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is... Splat. Splat. There we go. Alright, I'll my turn now. Wait, maybe you can just hold back again. 
If the player is pushed here, it will finish in the public. And in general, fans are much more dangerous than players. So passes give experience as well, all right. That's an interesting. Go for a blitz here. A game that really upped the ante in the dying moments of this. That time pressure made the match. Was okay, okay, so you really have to injure them to get experience. Ah, you're back! But I can't spend every game on the field, I'm retired. Sure was good to crush a few green skin heads, though. Oh, brings back fond memories. I've missed you. What? <laughs> don't get emotional on me, Jim. I don't like clingy relationships. I've killed many, many people for a lot less. <clears throat> Time for a commercial break? Your players will age as the season advances. After a period of 13 times, there's a chance that they retire. Oh, that's a thing as well. Jeez. Alright. Yeah. Never sent near borders. Got you. Don't forget that to enhance your stadium, it must be of a sufficient size. Get the war hammers this time and the right reavers. Yeah, I definitely should log in next time. Playing a league friendly match challenges where he's. So these might be a good thing to learn, I guess. Block and dodge must get. guys level 2. They don't get a lot of SP it seems. The dwarves, bash, is that a skill? I can't check my skills right now. So this, is the skill called the dwarves bash or, or these guys bash? What do you mean? Troll Slayers here. What the heck is that? Jeff Roller, that's it. Wow. That looks like a... Yeah, look, all of them got block, all of them got fixed skull, and all of them got whatever that is. Tackle. Seems a bit like an unfair match to me, if you ask me. Once a drive ends that once a drive ends that this player has played in any point, a referee orders a play to be sent off regardless of whether the player is still in the pitch or not. It's 
sure it's goldfish, dude. There is, nice. Yeah. The stadium is like a second home for a team. Well, Jimmy, I'm actually about to end the game. I think it's almost three three thirty here right now, so it's getting really late. Um, do you have a link for me that you could link for me so I can check to get some proper tips and tricks? Really appreciate all the uh, feedback you've been giving me. That's gonna help me out. Also, I just gotta learn a lot. Alright guys, I'll end my video here then. Also on tonight's show, big Jobo Hairyfoot comes back from the dead to talk about his remarkably short tenure as captain of the Greenfield Grasshuggers. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a night here. So, thanks Jimmy Carlson for all the tips and thank you for joining me in the stream. So if you guys like the video, please leave it a like. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to help out, please consider subscribing. If you have any tips, comments or suggestions, leave them down in the comments down below. If you have any t links for videos you should watch about uh, Blood Bowl, drop them down below as well and I'll be sure to watch them. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to try a match against you if you're up for it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a night now, so uh, it's 3.30 a.m. here, way too late. We'll probably be streaming again tomorrow, not sure if I'll do Blood Bowl, might do uh, Final Liberation, or maybe some more time. Anyway, it's probably going to be more, uh, more Warhammer games. So thank you guys for watching, and I wish you all a good night. See ya. I'm looking forward to the next match, Jim. Time for some Blood Bowl!
Talismans R Us are certainly making a splash on the used arcane item retail scene of late. I'd say less of a splash and more of an incendiary fire. You just can't trust sorcerers. Well, you can't beat a McMurdy's Squeak Burger. Always upgrade the meals to glutton size, though, or else you don't get enough fries. <laughs> Goblin gambling are a great company to be affiliated with. Any problems you may have are surely coincidental. Isn't that the company that you owe a great deal of bad gambling debts to? Uh, uh, that has nothing to do with my uh, spontaneous endorsement.
getting bored, Jim. You know I have the attention span of a constipated snotling. What are we gonna get to see again? <laughs>